Good morning, America. That was very Dick Nixon of you. <laughs> hey, Les. Howdy, howdy. The, uh, the what do you think of his uh, Nixon impression? I think you've probably heard of him. Cool. You think yeah. he's good? I think he's good. I really do. You know, because the thing is, is that uh, a lot of people that do impressions they don't go over the top, and his Nixon's over the top. And I remember, uh, oh, what was the com comedian's name? He did impressions back in the 70s and 80s. Oh, and he was so good. But he did a Richard Nixon, too, and, and the reason he sold his so well is because it was just over the top. Because Nixon was an over-the-top personality. He just got oh, emotional. Yeah. He absolutely was. He was larger than life. Nope. Feels like impressions are kind of, like, they're going by the wayside. Really, and it's and it's sad too because there was some good ones. Oh, there was some good comedians, uh, good good co comedy work, just doing impressions of people. Yeah, it was like it was a whole genre, like impersonating yeah. people. I mean, you have the uh, SNL deals. That that's about it, though. Yeah, as far as impersonations anymore, huh? go. I don't know. Eddie Murphy did a lot of impressions in uh, Raw and also Delirious. Uh, yeah, but look you at know, Mr. T alcohol. and fucking a uh, few other people. Oh yeah. Well, hell, what was it? Richard Pryor and, and yeah, uh, Bill Richard Cosby. Pryor had good ones. Yeah, he and Eddie Murphy used to also do Richard Pryor. Nope. 
Eddie Murphy would do Richard Pryor impressions. Yes, yeah, he it was. Yeah, he had, he had a ski. Yeah, I've been taking a shit. And yep. That shit break off halfway. And you're like, oh, God damn it, you have to be wiping your ass for half an hour. <laughs> and you've been you taking it. a shit. And you flush the toilet. And what little chunk come back? What does that chunk want? <laughs> is is that what his impression was like, or is that what? No, it was better. <laughs> okay, I was wondering. <laughs> Just curious. Yeah, he, did a, he had a skit where he did um, uh, Eddie Murphy did a skit with where he was doing Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby talking to each other. You know, and they were oh, talking God. about uh, they were talking about uh, Eddie Murphy's potty mouth. Oh you know, yeah, that was you great. Know, yeah, and and so of course Bill Cosby always played it off like he was the clean guy. So you know he was all like, ooh, and he was doing that. And then Richard Pryor mm. just jumped in and said, "Why well, you tell, you, you tell him to have a coke and a smile and shut the fuck up." And that was his, <laughs> and that was totally Pryor. Like it was perfect though. That's Get good. me up there on your soul, sin, boom, flarn, boom, flarn, boom. Motherfucker, what okay, you have a, a is that a good fit. Cosby? No. To me, it sounds it sounds like you're straining. I think you need to stick with Nixon. Well, I never said I was good at everything. <laughs> You've got the you got one act. You got the act, <laughs> man. Uh, well, hold on, he I, you haven't been around for this, but he has a really good Matthew McConaughey. Oh, nice. For no reason. That's actually for Matthew no reason. McConaughey train. Try it on. It's it's not necessarily Matthew McConaughey. It's Matthew McConaughey train now. I have rebranded oh. myself. For legal purposes, I assume. For, For legal, legal reasons. <laughs> All royalties will be um, funneled into my Live Forever Fund, which I should do. Because I'm just that amazing. Well, there you go. I like it. His McConaughey is pretty alright. The, uh... The the Nixon, I, I was on of. the fence of, though. Yeah, I think the Nixon's pretty good. You know, the comedian I was thinking of from the 70s, 80s was uh, Rich Little. Rich Little! Yeah. That guy could do about anybody. Well, I, I remember uh, through the 90s, Dana Carvey tried really hard to keep the impression yep. thing going. Yeah, he did. I remember that. And I thought his best one, the one I always just cherished, was that uh, imitation he did of, uh, what's his name, from Jaws. Oh, fuck. Um, you know who I'm talking about. He yeah. died like a year after the movie came out. The old yeah. guy. The captain. He... What was his name? I feel, I, I feel like I in knew movie, his name before Clint. and I missed it. Yeah. But, I can't but remember what, what was the actor? Was. And he was a popular actor back then, too. Somebody in the audience will be able to tell. Someone will know. Someone will know. But I remember uh, one of the last stand-ups that I actually enjoyed watching. It was a Dana Carvey thing where he's just he's talking about like action figures and crazy shit, but just doing impressions, and it was fun. I had a laugh at it. Yeah, it was good stuff. Robert Shaw. There we go. Robert Shaw. I love it when people are able to like. I like when we are having these conversations, and it's like I know someone in the audience knows, and they actually know. And they it know. makes me so sad when they don't, and I'm like, wow. When does that ever have, happen, though? One of them always knows. It's happened before, where we've had, like, a triple-digit pool of people. And they don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They're like, what is this guy going on about? It's painful. It's <laughs> happened to me many times. <laughs> Leaves you hanging, you're like, wait a minute. They just have no clue what the hell's going on. Hmm. That's crazy. Well, by the way, I may as well tell people. All right, today's small exception. I may have a. Uh, I may have made a special rule. I have a. Uh, I have rolled a cigar for myself today to enjoy during the show. Very nice. Tastes very nice. Very nice. Uh, again, not going to be. Celebration going on. Oh yeah, not going to be smoking yeah. another one tomorrow. Or anything. It's celebratory, as less hey. is uh, assumed here. Yeah, that's a good thing there. You know, because I mean, oh, hell, yeah. I did it the other day. You know, when people were going ape shit about voting. You know, and I got to take my little five year old grandson with me and. We had ice cream afterwards. I was like, oh, it's a cheat day for Grandpa. So, yeah, we had ice cream. I, I would have been very careful going anywhere. Dude. I don't, you uh, you live in kind of a smaller town, though, right? Like, you're, oh, no, everything's no, kind of chill. Denver, well, Den no, Denver's got its moments. But, I mean, yeah, for the most what? part, I'm out in the suburbs. So, yeah. Okay, well, all right, you're in the nicer areas. I don't know. I, I trust very little of it. 
Oh, even where I'm at, it's a it's middle of nowhere, and I still don't trust shit. Oh, and, hey, you're you're playing it smart there. It was uh, I don't think I think it was like what an hour after shit started going weird that you started hearing reports of like riots, protests, oh, yeah. uh, shit going on fire. Oh yeah, something like that. Hell yeah! By then, by then I was already we were already back home. You had well, you had to wait for any of the good shit to get announced. That's yeah, true. Like last night, apparently it was announced that a uh, bait got kicked off the RV. Oh, I didn't know he got oh, kicked oh, off. Boy. I thought he was like, "What did you hear? What did you hear?" I didn't hear anything. I just I knew that he wasn't in the RV, and I assumed that he had just you know taken himself out, like. Danny's he removed Diva himself thing, like, from the RV. Screw you guys, I'm going to take me I, I didn't know he got kicked out. People, people oh. are probably trying to, uh, kind of tired of smelling all those um, mace fumes. Hold on, we have a uh, we have a news source here. Crin Eastwood, he wants you to know, he was bullied off of the RV by <laughs> chat. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, no, say it ain't so. I think it's like, it can't play out that good, can it? No, not, say it ain't fucking so. Not Vagina Alaska. He's too based uh, to be bullied. Based off vagina. Of it. Yeah. Based vagina. <laughs> Fuck. Oh dear. He was bullied off by chat. Why does everything with Baked Alaska end with he freaks out because the chat said because something mean chat. to him? Huh? That's always his thing. He tries to play up to these people, and the moment shit doesn't go his way, he tantrums out of control. I don't know. I know the RV broke down. Did it? Oh, yeah. We got footage of that. Define, define breakdown. I think it was sabotage. Well, when I, when I say breakdown, the catalytic converter was stolen, and oh. it broke down on okay, the side yeah, of the there road. We go. There we go. That sounds more accurate. Was it stolen or was it pawned for a quick hit? Probably uh, that. This is what I'm talking about. Like, back yes. when all these people were around, they were like, hey, you want to go on a trip with us? And I'm like, no. No, thank you. No. Yeah. I'd rather masturbate with a handful of broken glass. Like, what's wrong? Why would anybody want to be around you people? Uh, because that was the end thing. Uh, they were a pain in the ass to talk to. I'll be damned if I was going to fucking hang out with them. Oh, I think I can remember a couple of... Uh conversations you had back in the day and I, you could just hear it in your voice you're like why am i what what, what, what why why I mean, there was a lot that, of them it sounded like it was sounded painful just put it that way i liked uh there were sometimes i could pull some fun out of something with them where we just fucking laugh about something but most of the time i just wanted to pitch a bitch about shit that i didn't give a fuck about <laughs> kind of like kind of like what's been going on in uh, all week long here in the state kind of but i don't know i feel <laughs> I I can empathize with people on the day of the election, maybe the day after. I mean, I I know people are going to be fucked up about this for at least a few. I got it, but I really hope we're not going to have four fucking years of people I'm screaming whining, about how know? fake yeah. it is. Oh, I know we are, but I'd like to think we won't. It'd be nice to think. Yeah, you would. That. Hope, you would hope somebody'd be like, "All right, let's, let's turn on, let's turn on something else. Let's not go on this road." There was that one time uh, here recently where. Nobody said that the election was rigged for Obama because everybody just kind of accepted. Well, yeah, nobody voted for Mitt Romney. Yeah, fine. I think that was the last time that it was kind of like that way. Huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the last one I could remember where it was like, <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, nobody voted for him. It's whatever. But the past year, oh, I hate it. And the worst part is when the numbers are like they are, you know, at least half of everybody is just going to. Oh yeah, doesn't matter what side. Yeah, when, when the number is that close, I I dread it no matter who wins because I know it's oh, yeah. gonna happen. Baked Alaska sees these numbers and apparently, uh, someone said he went into a depression on air. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. leaving. I'm taking my ball and going home. Kinda. Uh, I heard another thing that he's gonna start his own RV trip, which makes no sense because the election shit's over. You're Trump. Thing's not gonna work. Yeah, also, a new train. he started and he's already started an RV trip. 
He just got kicked out of his own RV trip. <laughs> he got kicked out of his own RV trip. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Uh, hey, Alex, you look nice. Oh. Well, actually, you're, you're, you're normal height today, right? You're not miniature? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I have no idea what the normal height is. I was going to ask, do you think he shrank you again? Like, uh, what are you going to... I don't... Well, the first time I was on the screen... He comes uh, in every day talking about getting shrank. I, I didn't. Know. I didn't do that today. That was what. That was what. Uh, yeah, but more he's got Les a complex said. down. Like I did it one. Bro, time. you can't be throwing shit off on Les. He said it. He just asked me about yeah, it. Yeah, but you looked it. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? It's the, the, it's the elephant in the room that I'm addressing. Yeah. You need to take responsibility for your own actions, Alex. That, bro. I didn't do anything. <laughs> take accountability for your own life, your decisions, and your actions. Stop blaming others for your failures of character. I'm really disappointed in you, bro. You know, I fucking hate this show so goddamn much. I fucking hate it. <laughs> all you guys ever do is fucking bully me. I fucking hate all of you. Not true. By the way, you, hey you, man. You start an RV? Hey, yeah, you need to start an RV. Uh, no, I don't. You want to go take back the Alaska spot on his RV? Do you have any no. mace? Uh, I have access to mace, but it's, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's a prerequisite, you know, you gotta have it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have mace for this trip. Hey, man, at given to, he said, hi, Adrian. Oh, feel shit. Uh, Gokai had given five and said, don't forget the best impression. Ethan Ralph impersonating a news reporter. Hey, oh, oh hell. There's, he's done better impressions than that. I think he, he, he had a moment when he was trying to be impressive and... He impersonated intelligence. He impersonated oh, what, what the list goes on. The husband for a minute. Oh! <laughs> now he's impersonating a wife. Sorry. Wait. So okay, baked Ooh. is still in Texas right now, and he's in Dallas. Did they did they drop baked off in Texas? Is that what's happened here? Well, how the hell did he get? I know he's been traveling in Texas, but I d I really don't they want abandoned him that him? close to me. He is abandoned close to you. Because Dallas is only shit. It's only like two hours away. What do, what do you think about that? He is abandoned, and abandoned close to you. I mean, I'm not saying I want to go beat him up. Oh, but I'm not. I'm not oh. saying I don't want to beat him up either. I, I'm just saying, you know, if I lived in the Dallas area, I might look for him. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, is that okay? This is what you were. I didn't know this was a Rob tweet. Okay. What was it? He called you what, out, Alex. What, what Akajin was was quoting earlier. Oh. I see what you. I see. You know what the sad bit about that guy is? What's that? He's what angsty. Stuff? He's angsty and he's backstabby, but he was nowhere near as bad as the people he would surround himself with, hoping to get anything. That's bad. I don't, I don't hate Rob. I don't hate Optic. I think he's just, he's a fucking goofball. Nah, I'd still clock him, but <laughs> I'm just saying. I would, no, I wouldn't. He wasn't him. as bad as a Broski or as bad as a. A fucking Andy, like he sucked up to Andy. He'll suck up to Ralph, like butt suck AP over there and shit. Like he wasn't as bad as those people. But yeah, there was there was definitely a period where um, I would have hit Broski. I mean, I would have helped him back up, and then I would have hit him again. But then I would have helped him oh, back up. CIR, and you would have hit him again. Yeah, that. No, I, I, there would have been a point where I stopped. I mean, it would have been like, okay. This is a weird vote, but I want I want to throw it out there. I want to throw it out there either way before we do the big thing, just because you brought it up. Press 1 in the chat if you would have a very hard time not getting very angry and possibly even lashing out at someone like Broski. I was, I was fine. He comes up to you with broski for a long time even after we weren't cool 
because I just thought I, I know. He's and I remember when you got uncool with him, and that day on the show, you were like, "I would beat his fucking ass." And I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> Alex." That was yeah. <laughs> there, there was a very there was a specific moment where it was like, "Look, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with him at the. I'm, well, I mean, I don't mind dealing with him on the internet, but if I were to happen upon him, it would be like, Broski, don't get near me. I, he's tiny <laughs> like you." Yeah, I don't. I don't think it uh, would you, be. You two could be of, looking like eye to eye on this. I'd watch it. I don't. I don't think it would be any kind of competition. I don't. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not afraid of Broski. You know, I didn't see any ones for a minute, and then I saw two, and I'm like, damn. Maybe just two people kind of want to clock him. Wait, no, there's three. Okay, hold on. Maybe that was a we delay. Must, we must be on that good delay today. See, I, I, I have, on that good I have shit. to press 0.5 because I'm missing a partial leg and, and I don't know the full lore, so I have to wait till I get my <laughs> prosthetic. You have to be very careful with whose who's ass exactly. you decide to break I, your boot I, off I, into because you only exactly. got one boot. I only got one boot, so I got to be selective here for a moment. Got to make sure I'm not writing a check my ass can't cash. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of got to be careful what who you climb up on because you'll have a bit of trouble getting down. That's right. That's right. Naomi said. That's right. Oh no, hold on. It was uh, backwards. But still, Naomi said he's an ungrateful little punk. That's, I'll say what she said anyway. I had it backwards. Krent said it, and I thought I thought this was kind of funny. Anyone who doesn't vote one is Broski. Oh. <laughs> oh. Anybody else wants to clock him? Damn. See, I've heard that by this point, uh, the whole morning decay thing that's done. Oh, they don't do that show anymore. Yeah, it's over. Oh, uh, well, you know, shit uh, happens. Did somebody get a job? No, Broski made like one comment on Twitter, and it's been sideways ever since. Oh, oh, nice. So he, he even got to the point where he was pissing all the other people that were on the show off. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. He's got kind of an yeah, anger that? issue, he gets real uppity and pissy and goes off on people over the tiniest little things nice well, hey. i don't it's just the internet i don't know why he does that and like i said it's probably because of the I, internet. I think because see i don't i don't have an issue with him on the internet i i just think if i were to run into him i would hit him i think i think he, what do you when you interact with him on the internet it's like okay he's harmless but if you were to if you were to run into him you'd be like no you gotta hit him <laughs> there's just a there's a punch See, coming the, his way that's the thing though i think and this goes back to you know it's a theme that everybody's talked about before i think the the internet has people change they, they they feel like they can let their hair down a little bit too much and they can because i think honestly you know usually people that are, are crazy like that are like going off all the time on on the internet on people usually probably aren't that way in real life like if you meet them face to face like oh hey how you doing oh yeah well, like even me, like I, well, people will say uh, that I flip out on people all the time. That's actually very rare when I'm not around scumbags. Uh, in the Hell, past, the other day I didn't catch the whole show, but the other day uh, it was a, it was a shit show. I was like, holy crap, I haven't seen one of these in a while. But you, you had the patience of Job, as they as, the, as they used to say. You Who are we know? talking about? The the, the girl? girl? Yeah, and you just had like okay, a, you were yeah. so mellow, and you're just like, look, I'm trying to give you, and you kept on saying, hey, I'm trying to give you a chance. We're trying to get you hooked up, and she's like, oh, wait a minute, I gotta fuck around for ten more minutes and not do anything. She, uh, she, she was fucking. She was. Oh man, that lore. was brutal. <laughs> yeah, that was. I think this election will be whole cold thing, but... by the time she's finished compiling. Oh, <laughs> what's man. gonna come in first, the turtle evidence <laughs> or the election <laughs> results? Holy shit, I haven't thought I, of I that. I might actually, I might actually grow back a leg before then. Oh fuck, that's a good point. I I wonder which one's gonna come come in first. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that I tried to be nice to. The, I always try to be nice to people. You do. I get it. I get this you weird rap as somebody who hates everybody, and I, I'm fucking mean and shit to everybody. Fuck. Okay, I'll take whatever. I'll take that. But I'm not unfair, and I'm not fucking. I don't you always. I'm a pretty mellow always, dude. As a guy, I, it's been a watcher. I've always assumed you're kind of the guy that's like, hey, give somebody some rope and let them hang themselves, and then you can be the bad guy. I I met that. Tonka. He seemed pretty chill. He seemed all right. He didn't fucking try to stab me or anything. 
<laughs> nice. You didn't punch him. You didn't pull a knife on me or nothing. <laughs> well, all right. Les, you probably didn't know about this. We're pushing the baked stuff back even more. But just put baked Alaska stuff in an order, Akujin, and we'll let you present it to us fucking Vincent Price style here in a minute. Yeah, and then when you're, Is that when fair? you're done, I'll, I'll throw in a traffic report at the end of it. He said he had a traffic report, too. Yep, so you can throw that at the end. It's good shit. Okay. All right, so there was a thing that happened where me and Jim Sterling had a wrestling match. Okay, now I think, I think I can remember that because I was able to catch a couple of shows here and there over the last, and I remember that either people were talking about it upcoming or it was right afterwards, but I remember something about that. Okay, so go on. Sorry. Yeah. What a, that, was, that was the thing. It was, uh, we had Isn't three. Isn't he a YouTuber? Yeah, he's he's a big deal on YouTube, and he okay. wrestles too now. Uh, I honestly, I, don't, I think he may have been doing shit prior. No, maybe yeah. not prior to YouTube. He had been no, he had been uh, in wrestling for a while. Like we even looked up some of his videos, and uh, there was a thing that happened where we ended up kind of screwed because he happened to be doing a wrestling match in one of the things we were watching, and a guy came out and helped him that we had on our roster at the fucking time, who was a good guy, but uh, well, he's a bad guy now. Because now oh, he's no. helping Jim Sterling. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen on the video. Oh, right, right. That ended up happening. I can't didn't remember see his that name. coming. He's, a, he's the bald guy. Oh, Hagen. The... Oh, Hagen, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's we cool. had like three matches. But at the last one, uh, like a couple people came. It was like Vamp was here. Uh, Jim Sterling came uh, for the match thing. And... Uh, Alex came down and oh, nice. we just we had it like set up in a very weird roundabout thing where like Alex got to get in a ring. Oh and really? He, yeah, he What do you think, man? He did a move and shit. Oh, see how it is? There's lore going on here. What'd you think? Alex was a pretty cool. Oh yeah, it was awesome. I, yeah. I kind of fucked up the move, but it was still cool. <laughs> I know, hey, that's cool, man. He did, he uh he did that and it was impressive. It was fun. It was it was a thing, but then after that, he uh, he turned out, he got to take a move and then he was down or whatever. And, like he got to have this like whole thing. He comes down, he does like this uh, wrestling spot, and boom! All right, Ale Alex had a good time, but the whole time he was around, everything was very chill. And then I sent him home with a car full of. Uh, armed devil worshippers. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And you know what's funny? They were pretty chill, I didn't too. think about it. <laughs> yeah, they were very, they're very nice boys, all right? Nice. But, uh, like, good he, boy Alex got tempted by, by the bad guys here. Yeah, Alex gets to say he had a very fun experience. I don't, he, I don't, I don't think anybody that was there wasn't chill. I think everybody I met was super nice. You Most were nice. People... Vamp was nice. Everybody was nice. Yeah. Most people aren't scumbags. There was just a plethora of fucking scumbags everywhere. Everywhere you look. From bait to fucking Andy. Fucking failure doing the covert scumbag shit. Now, see, now like, that, that's, I, I'm, I'm still going to have to try to catch up on that one, but I just, I can remember. There's one stream. Was, okay, is there a particular one that's worth looking? There's one stream. Failure eventually came back just to the chat, and I think his goal was to fuck with people or something. But then, like, three or four hundred people end up, like, they're all in the chat, and Failure starts saying shit. But he didn't know that every person that he tried to throw under the bus... They were all in the chat. Oh. And so then they all came on. He lied oh. about killing joke. He lied about uh, Kraut and T. He lied. Everybody he lied about. All. It, do you remember back in the day? Uh, you said you had been watching back then. When Failure would say Kraut doesn't want to come on air and talk. I think I can remember that. I think I can remember that. All right. Like every time I was like, we need to talk to the guy. We're talking to all these people. We should talk to the guy. And so and, he was kind of putting it off. And failure would say, Kraut isn't going to come on. He doesn't want to come on. Well. Turns well, you out got, you Kraut, got Kraut was Kraut messaging on. him trying to get on. Oh, yeah. wow. So Kraut is in the chat and sees him saying that. And Kraut gets on air 
and gives us Skype logs where he's going back and forth with failure and failures telling him that I won't let him on that I won't talk to him. Yeah. Failure was one of those ones that a lot of us didn't really, if we weren't uh, behind the scenes, we didn't really uh, know that he was who he was. Like I, I didn't really know that was going on. Uh, it was kind of hard to accept at the time. I think a lot of people were like that. We were like, well, we thought he was he was a nice guy. And then well, you know, and, that, and that's the really thing. That's wasn't. the impression I got. And I never got a chance to really talk to uh, Thayer because by the time I was talking to you uh, the first time they were talking, I think that, that the drama had already went down. Thayer kind of disappeared. I don't think it was the big drama, but it was... Uh, it was uh, so it was the pre wrestling deal, and it was before even uh, he had the issue with Andy. Uh, wasn't didn't, wasn't there like a deal where Andy like took money from him or, or took mm-hmm. back money from him? So it was no, even before oh, that. Yeah, the money. Hold on, back. hold on. But, All right, here's what gets sad. By the end of that conversation uh, around that Christmas stream, after all this gets shown out, we're all like, "Failure? Did he even pay you back?" Guess what? What? No, he no. never, never, he never gave the money back. Wow. After all that time, after all the shit that failure did, but he never gave him the money back. And all that, yes, all that drama. See, and God, it reminds you like it's like the Julius Caesar thing, et tu brute, you know, you're like, come oh, on, yeah. man, backstabbing oh, shit. Yeah. Well, it got, it got him all nothing. It was dumb. Well, no, at the end of the day, I can remember he was like, you know, I'm doing the you know online thing, and, and now I don't even see him. I mean, does anybody even know what the hell he's doing now? No, he's gone. Isn't that sad? So he had to go out and get like a real job. Apparently he'll make a tweet time to time, but at this point, everyone knows. Uh, he did a stream uh, with another guy who was always up Andy's ass and took up for him and hid shit for him, and they admitted all kinds of shit. And then tried to like do the tour and matter again because Andy had left them behind to go be co-host with Ralph. Oh, it, nice. oh, it didn't go well. Oh. It did not go well. <laughs> Everybody pulled them through the rigor and they just left. Well, see, one thing I can remember is even when all the uh, when he was uh, going off the deep end, and this was like, I mean, I, I'd missed some stuff because I was already kind of like disappearing. But I remember I caught a stream and he was busy talking. And this was after uh, wrestling and or not wrestling, the fight and everything else. So he was all. Uh, being really pissy and people were in the in the chat even in that that stream that i caught were just giving him shit going shut up you're full of shit and this that and i was like wow he's not he's getting raked through the coals no so people knew yeah obviously uh, they call, that's the snake thing huh but he he can never get away from being the snake because he tried to snake anybody that he could <sighs> yeah anyone he could to get ahead that was one thing that he really the whole not being able to suck up to everybody thing, he hated that. And <laughs> he didn't like it when we would do things like, oh, I don't know. Hey, Kraut didn't have a doxing server. Hold on. I don't know if you should say that. Yeah, we'd want to go, go against the narrative or whatever. Huh? Yeah, he wanted every... He wanted to just go along with shit. I'm not, I'm not playing along with these fucking losers. That I, means I, that, I figured I figured you'd want to, people would want to stand out. So I mean, if you're like a YouTuber and you're like, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my name and I'm gonna you know grow my channel stuff," I mean, look at the people that are, that get big, you know, doing the drama oh, thing yeah. or whatever. You know, like like Keemstar, he just he pisses everybody off. He goes and does whatever the hell he wants to. I don't care about oh, stuff. I shit you whole. not. I have a Keemstar reaction to the elections. Oh no, I have that. I can, uh, I'll find oh, that. No. Throw it to, he is, Probably uh, had it for three days, but nobody gives a shit, so we haven't watched it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not like that. Like, this, this is, uh, him before and after the election. Uh, so you have a no, uh, Chink y- Uger or whatever his name is moment, or is he Melvin It's down? a day. Chunk no, he's, yeah, he's, he's having a day. Yeah. <laughs> As you do. Uh, seems like a lot of people had days, didn't they? Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, did the Baked Alaska thing happen like that was last night? Or was was it the day before and we missed it? Like, Which how one? did it go down? Uh, like, in the evening or in the early morning? Were they drunk? 
I'm not exactly sure. Um, you remember yesterday we watched that clip where that guy, um, he, he showed his piece. That, that drunk idiot almost got shot in that, um, gas station. Jesus. You remember that from yesterday? Mm-hmm. Well, there was a clip that came out after that. He went outside and he started shit again. And it seems like some point after that, after that incident, something happened. Some sort of disagreement. I don't know. And it hasn't been posted. And then the next thing that I've got is the next day when <laughs> uh, Baked is no longer with the van and somebody had stolen the catalytic converter and they're broken down on the side of the road and <laughs> they start fighting between them. They actually get into a punch-up. Oh, nice! Man. Woo! Speaking it of seems like about. things are going well, then. <laughs> right? Like... They're about as expected. Yeah, I, I yeah, bet. I bet that the right. disarray and unhappiness and all the discontent going on, I doubt that has anything to do with Trump losing and they're probably getting flamed hard in their chat. Oh, that's, that's, what, that's what you call it when you, you're getting got, right? You're getting flamed. <laughs> Charborough. Set, set ablaze. Even. Flamed mignon. Ooh. Flamed mignon. He needs. He needs so much help. Uh, <laughs> that boy needs some milk. Oh, I found it. Okay, are you ready for oh, the what? Keemstar thing? Let, oh, we did the Keemstar thing. It's like eight. This is a quick thing. This is a quick have a laugh, quick reaction, and then we can get into the other thing. But right. may as well. All right, you got to go with the first one, and then you got to show the second one. Because... Um, hold on, Willow said, may we please watch Bait get punched pretty please. <laughs> I told Willow he should come on one day. Well, I know that I, I, he does shit during the day a lot that he wouldn't be around to shit, but one day he should because I think he does a show. But hi, Crint and Jessica and Willow and Angela and uh, Sergio and Anthony and Vangelo shot. There. So that there is the first one. We have uh, Keemstar calling it the night before the election. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's see what will happen. And the How's next day. They cheating. <laughs> they, they cheating. Um, Mom, Mom, uh, Mom, he cheating. He cheating on the Xbox, Mom. Uh, I'm taking my ball and I'm leaving. You don't need to tweet that shit. Like you, you can say that shit. Sit say that sitting at the table. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, you. Sit at your table and say, you already put out the gimmick that said tomorrow, that's what it'll be like. And then tomorrow you're like, they cheat. They cheat. They cheat. Like, Shh, <laughs> Keem. They are the... The fuck? I, Akajin, I'm not even, we're not even having that, we're not in that conversation. We can do that later, I swear, I'll let you. We can have that talk. But, for can the sake, go back, go right back now? to the other do thing. That. For the sake of that, oh tomorrow, God. don't tweet that thing. Eh? You would think somebody that, that's in his position that does this shit for a living, you would think. Tweet it the day no. after. Yeah, you would know not to own yourself. You know what I would have done? I would have not posted this one here. Uh, maybe. I don't know if you would have. You were pretty sure. You were pretty sure. Real yeah, quick. I would have put 50 bucks on Trump, and it seems I like that, that's something, a bet that I could still win. But still, I wouldn't have done that. And this seems... Anyway. 
It don't look good. Come on, that's comical. That mean, it comical. is. It is funny. The duality of man. It's a, <laughs> that's a great label for it as well. Yeah. Am I the only one that uh, you know? Because Keem's got that legendary gnome thing going on. <laughs> Anybody else when they like see his picture? Do they just travelocity dot com? Anybody else do that or no? He did remind me of that, but I didn't know if that would be too boomer for anyone to remember yeah, probably, or what. Like it, I will remember shit, and everyone just kind of stares at me. It's like fuck it, man. Yeah. I'm not even fuck you, people. You don't <laughs> like I. I'm telling you now, see, the gnome, i just like, man, he's on vacation, he's there. He's very gnomey. Like, I've heard people like, they'll bring up the keyboard, and I'm like, but that's not a gnome. Like, the no. Travelocity dude was yeah, a gnome. He was a gnome. But you don't want to get into these battles. Yeah, people will be like, oh, what? what? That's aged. Gadfly had given to me, said Tonka's surprisingly chill, can confirm. Oh, I, I remember him, that. the Travelocity gnome? You're terrible. Yeah. I had to Google it, and I was like, oh, later. fuck yeah! And chance from over at the, uh, well, five minutes late. You, I will read the nice thing being said about me. Thank you. Not and that, And I appreciate Alex. it. Oh, Alex. Alex does that. He's gonna do that. <laughs> I had to Google it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Chance through five. It. I appreciate it. It just says beans. Beans. Just beans. It's like Magic Jacob Herbert. posted beans for hours and hours the other night. And it just, it bothers the fuck out of Larry. Oh, nice. Very, very interesting fun fact there. Anyway, this is the Keemstar reaction to the elections. Yeah, that doesn't look so good, does it? It's not. <laughs> you know, good. you know shit went south when it aged so poorly within 24 hours. Did, was it even 24? <laughs> We'd have to get more checking, but... <laughs> Eight hours. Billy, Billy threw a pair. Hey, he should just talk shit. They always uh, use the pairs. I don't. It's some sticker thing YouTube does now. It's very weird. Okay, uh, I see. Less, I, yeah, I don't get it. I well, That's I'm a boomer, it's though. just money. Like you can say something for that much. Yeah, aren't you like ninety five years old or something? Heck, yeah, we'll get call them. somebody a dipshit. You know, you don't. Have, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Pairs. Look at the I need to quit with my complex. A You're hold up. You know what? I will. I will purposely not throw a pair, but I will throw something. The bird. No. <laughs> I wish that was a a, a a super sticker. Let's go. Kujin, is it broken? No, I preempted something that shouldn't have been played because I was switching back to something else. And Do you know that we can't see the one you're on? I mean, now we... Why does it keep playing that? Stop! I... Wait, now we can't... I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what's going on. Did you... Did you break... The stuff. Are we getting paid to show that uh, Godfall for PS5 there? Oh hell, I was kind of looking at the gonna look up the quality plantation shutters there in Australia. There quality plantation shutters. Yeah. Experts and custom made. It's fine. Coogan <laughs> 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 tabbed. What the fuck? What happened? What? No, I meant to go back to the normal screen, but I'd already preempted. Uh, I would already set up that transition to go into the other thing that we got sidetracked from and then weren't talking about anymore because we were now talking about Keemstar. And oh, the thing no, wait, started playing. We were... I, I so thought we were waiting doing the to... thing, though. Well, I'm waiting to get back to the thing. <laughs> well, yeah, we were doing it. I was just showing you that for a second. Like, that was a ha-ha point laugh, and then we go. All right, so we're doing the thing. Uh, hold on, though. Uh, oh, I'm, now I'm hold on. I'm break. I'm going to go urinate here while you're figuring this out. Yeah, he's got it. Now he's got to pee. And also, Alex is fucking sending pictures that say yum in chat. Yeah, that's. I told you I'd find a better one than a pear. 
Yeah. Billy said, fine, if you're going to be that way, Alex is fat, the train has special needs, and y'all smell funny. Feel better? That's fucking mean. That's fucking mean. Well, at least I'm not special needs. At least you have that. Do you, uh... We'll always have Paris. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, fine. Yeah, maybe. Ah, look at Deadly Kitty coming in. The 279 Canadian. The 279 Canadian. (laughs) (laughs) Say it, hi, Burrito! 279 Canadian. That's right! That's right! She had to have typed that. That's too precise. That's too precise. Two seventy nine. She t- uh, That's five hours of work. She said, "Okay, that's a whole nickel in real money." <laughs> oh. oh, nickel! <laughs> oh, she said it's the next default from ninety nine. Okay, I did. It. Okay, I just I thought it was very specific. Like she just cleaned out whatever was left, and I'm like, that was. That was your last soda, bud. Don't do that. I forget. Canada has very weird prices because their their money's not very good. I mean, it's fine. It's fine money. I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bash Canadian money. Everybody knows what the deal is with Canadian money by now. It's don't fine. They have like a bunch of coins and shit. I forget. Am I thinking of somebody else? What do you mean a bunch of big coins. fat coins? A lot of people have coins. People no, use I, coins. No, I, I thought they have like more coins than normal. Am I thinking of somebody else? As in, I don't know. Over in Australia, we've got a one or two dollar coin. We don't go into notes until five dollars. Damn. That's five, ten, That's 20, crazy. 50. A bunch of coins and shit. Isn't that money? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking look at one. Dead one of my kitty. Fucking send in a super chat and my currency gets insulted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my view to the morning decay. You're a little oh. late for that ride. Oh, yeah, I've got some bad news. It's. I, I don't think that's a thing anymore. Nah, dude. If you're over in fucking Middle East, you, you trade in rare gems and shit. What are you talking about? Fucking rupees. Fucking <laughs> the Indian rupee or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> <laughs> rupee. He said he is cackling about money. Yeah. <laughs> there's uh, a, there's a the fucking country. <laughs> there's a fucking country that actually has a, a rupee, like a fucking Zelda rupee. I don't fucking remember which one it is, but it exists. I'm gonna look it up. I think it's India. One of those Indian countries. Fucking blossoms. Uh, the basic, <laughs> basic monetary unit on, of India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. Okay. It, it, it's India. In, everybody's saying it's India. But yeah. Blossom, is, she's just found out. She, what? Is it over? Season finale? Yeah, it's, it's done. It's done. Head on over to that channel and it's... Uh, I, I feel that they are they're done. He plays video games now. He does different shit. But. You know. Oh. Did, did Dr. Herb uh, actually on. say I use fucking pennies? <laughs> hold on. This motherfucker. Dead one Y kitty. I sent 279. Say, guys, Tonka uses a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Cool people donate two seventy No, no, uh, it don't. She's trying to give. Don't go with the weird trend of like finding an arbitrary, strange number. It's gonna mess you up, and you're not gonna know how much you spent." Doom Marine said, "The this meme." Is dead. Oh no. 
Well, that's that's bad news. Okay. I don't know. Doom Marine, were you here that day that that bully kid showed up? He said, uh, I don't know, his name was I Bully Bullies. Oh, yeah, that, that guy. Yeah. He, he's forecasted the death of the Kumite. He's only, the, you know, the 6,000th person to do it. We're basically a yeah. religion at this point. The end has been <laughs> prophesied so many times and then pushed back. Kind of. I didn't realize we'd become the rapture. <laughs> the fucking rapture! Oh. My yeah. brothers and sisters, the rapture is coming today! <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. The guy who was very, very terrified to even come on the show. When I wasn't on it, I said I would get off the show and let him speak on it, just himself, and I would still be able to make him look like an idiot by not being here. That guy. He is... I got, I got told he is forecasting he is going to destroy me and end the show and... The best reply that, that I could give to it is, I never watch any of those videos, and the offer still stands for you to come here, get on air, I'll get off of the show, and you just talking will be all I need to walk away clear. I won't even need to fucking talk. That offer stands today, tomorrow, and the next day. Whenever you got time, I bully bullies. Get your weak ass over here and give it a go. I don't think he will. I kind of know he won't. But, yeah, I don't give a fuck to watch a video, homie. I, I don't watch fucking YouTuber video. <laughs> like, I don't... I don't give a fuck. If you want to, though, you feel free. That guy's weird looking. Which guy's weird looking? The guy you're talking about. I bully bully. Oh, yeah, he's... Have you seen the video where he yells about me? Yes! That's what I'm talking about. He looks like a Wallace and Gromit character. The way his, like, neck and mouth moves, it's so fucking weird looking. He's a weird guy. He doesn't move like a human. He moves like a, like an alien puppet. If he wants to roll through, I am telling, I will get off the air. He can get on the air. And I still guarantee he will walk away the loser. The offer is on the table. But I don't give a fuck to watch your video, kid. I don't know. Why do they think I'd watch their videos? I don't... I don't like any of these people. I don't think any of you are the next fucking... You're not, you're not the next fucking anything. I was going to say Spielberg, but that's way too hard. Like, you're not the next anything. You're dipshits. You're dorks. That's it. Other thing, Crucial Bunny said, yeah, he's not a kid. He's like 30. Okay, yeah, he's grown. But he's a dipshit. He's just some fucking dork. To put, it, to put it mildly. To put it mildly, you say. Mm. By the way, should we... Uh, do you think Les knows if he's fucking muted or not when he comes back? Uh, I think he may have fallen in the toilet. 
No, he has to do things. Remember, he's probably got to, like, use a thing, go up the stairs and shit. He's got one leg. Things so you, take a second, then. You don't think he's like The Rock in that skyscraper movie where he's just, like, fucking what? practically a goddamn superhero with his false leg? He's just, like, the best guy ever with his false leg. Actually, does he even have a false leg yet? Hold on, hold on. Yen typed this in the chat. I'm not kidding. This is, Yen, you can fucking screen cap this. It says it. Yen said, get down on my level, motherfucker. That guy was awesome. She put motherfucker with two K's and an A. So we now know what Yen thinks motherfucker is spelt like. Didn't see that coming. But Mafu she thought it was awesome. Mafurfuka. Wow, that's mean. I think she's um, typing it the way you said it. Which is, Ooh, you know, fucked up. Bad word. I think Mafu she's typing it like her little baby mouth says it. Wow. Yeah, I think she's one of the people in the chat that are nice to you, Alex. Yeah, and I, you know, she's going to be nice after No, no good deed goes unpunished. Look, using uwu speak. See, there you go. She's typing it very uwu. Yeah, yet, 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 next time I hear you speak, can you say uwu for me? I need to hear that in German. Can oh you say what is the what is the German version of uwu? Does that exist? Oh, Jesus. Alex is going to make us pray for baked Alaska. <laughs> you need to be stopped. Fucking <laughs> uh, to breed. <laughs> and then uh, Chosen said Alex is cancelled. I want I, I want that on my wall. You need to be stopped. You do. <laughs> need that framed. Are you getting cancelled? Alex is getting cancelled. He Man. He started saying weird shit for no reason. But he always does that, though, doesn't he? Alex yes, do I do that. Too? I do that every time I'm on the show. See, Billy gave another two. He said Alex is making miss, uh, making me miss leader right now. Oh, uh, that counts. Uh, Heyman gave two seventy nine and said, "Am I cute?" I'm putting <laughs> the two seventy nine for fuck's sake. These people. These people. Okay. So. Hold on. Oh, he got it on screen now. I see that. I almost missed it because of the van going by, but he, he's got Yen on screen spelling Mufferfucker. 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 That's uh, the German spelling of the term. There you go. I like it. I gotta watch. Kujin did this. By the way, Yen, if a Kujin is bullying you, like at the shit out of him in the Me? Discord, and tell oh, him to quit being a bully. Nin Ninja took the screenshot. Wow. To be displayed on screen. Wow. Yeah, ninja, ninja After you and requested it, Tonka. Quit, quit bullying Yetian, you fucking assholes. What are you doing? Oh my god. I can't he believe you guys would bully Yetian like that. Nobody well. has ever bullied Yetian other than those two. I, I can't <laughs> believe they would do that like that. No one has ever bullied. Nobody other than Akajin and Ninja. Nobody. Never. Never. See how it is? Ever. <laughs> I need a bully hunter. 
Oh. I watched that a couple months ago. Again, I see. Oh, the it Bully was Hunter video? Again. Yeah, somebody had, they were playing it in a Discord, and I was, I was like, wow. I've only seen it once, and yeah, it was, was kind of like, it seems I, almost like a parody when you watch it. You're like, is this I was going to say, that's all you needed was one time, right? Oh, I shit. thought so, too, but <laughs> I know? watched it again. I feel like that one may have endless funny to it. Oh, yeah, I think there is some stuff there. There's some substance. Akujin, <laughs> what? Hold up. Akujin is cycling through crazy music, including Christmas music. No, he's not. No? Okay. Okay. That playlist that you sent me, like, it, there it was continues to play work. when I'm not looking at it. This is on the list. And then, fucking... The next song comes on, and the volume on that one is louder than all the other ones, so even though I haven't fucked with the volume, I'm now getting accused of blaring the music. After oh, being yeah. accused of playing Christmas songs. Are you in the holiday spirit? I'm in the... Oh, shit. Like, Halloween just uh, stopped. I, was you, gonna... I don't know if you... Go ahead. No, I was, I was going to say something. I, I stopped myself. Oh. Fair enough. I was going to say, like, I don't know if people are going to be cool with you playing Christmas music, like, right after Halloween. Be people, like Walmart. They get really mad when you skip. <clears throat> skip Thanksgiving. <laughs> right into hot, you know, the the christmas thing they they want some some spacing i uh used to unfortunately have it. for the first time i think in my family history none of my family is going to be able to show up for thanksgiving so oh. it uh won't even it's basically just gonna be like okay we're gonna eat there you go. so so i am taking the atheist approach to christmas except with thanksgiving and i'm gonna be like this ain't Thanksgiving. This is just eat day. Oh, God. Oh, no dear. thanks shall be given this year. No thanks shall be given. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is the I don't, I don't give a fuck about today. Yeah, who am I thanking? Who Alex am I thanking? Alex is going to have a thankless Thursday. Alex, don't be the guy that makes the holiday a pain in the ass for everybody else. Look, well, no, it's going to be like that for the whole family. I mean, we basically all ba just said that because the whole reason we like Thanksgiving is we get together and see family. <sighs> But, okay, but like the family at your house, everything you gotta you gotta go along with the Thanksgiving shit. Well, well, here's the thing though; they're in agreement with me. We're all like that. We're like, okay. damn, nobody's coming. We're like, so every well, everyone has tapped out on Thanksgiving. This just oh, fucking all we're, day. all we're gonna do is that we're gonna have a nice meal. Okay, we're still gonna have the good Thanksgiving meal, but. It's just like, and it's the reason this is an issue is because it's because of COVID. Oh, so yeah. my okay. sisters, uh, or my my sister and my nephew and them, they're not going to be able to come in because they both work at uh, they both work at the same place because my sister got him a job there, and uh, it's going to be an issue. It's going to be packed or not packed, but I I guess they won't have enough servers, so. That's they said, fine. "Look, but I'm just saying, if you're gonna skip Thanksgiving, just remember the engines are only gonna give you one America. There you go. Can't have another one. So you start, you start skipping holidays. Like you don't want to set that precedent. Yeah, it's a slippery slope. Before, oh, like, what if go. it just goes away? Yep. And then, you know, like, your elections stop working and yeah. shit. Yeah, election, yeah. Elections, elections, elections. <laughs> <right now. laughs> like, you only yeah. got one holiday celebrating <laughs> Fat Man at the end of the year. You're just like, oh. Maybe our well, elections yeah, no, suck because I'm you're still, trying to cancel Thanksgiving, Alex. I'm definitely yeah, Alex. still doing Christmas because they're coming in on Christmas. You that sort of lose it, lining. Alex. What do I have to be thankful for? I'm getting fucked. Well, well maybe, for that. maybe if you weren't trying to cancel Thanksgiving, they would have the votes counted by now. Ooh. I'm not canceling nobody else's Thanksgiving. If your family is coming in, you're getting to see family. You know what? I'm happy for you. But at my house, fuck it. Wow. 
Maybe I should. COVID has uh, fucked things for me during Thanksgiving. I ain't getting to see none of my family. Fuck COVID. So fuck Thanksgiving. (laughs) 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 But you heard it right here. Train of logic. But the silver lining is that they will get Christmas off, so they will be able to come during Christmas. (laughs) Fuck it. So you're just going to d- d- delay the spread of the plague by a month. The line that he went down with that, though. Like, oh, yeah, it was just like, fuck, 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 fuck off. Fuck Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn. All right, then. I ain't got That's nothing good. to be thankful for. <laughs> because of COVID, fuck Thanksgiving. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat some turkey and some dressing, and that's going to be good. And then I'm going to be like, all right, fuck it. What else is there to do today? You watch football, I guess. What do you fucking do? Good for you. I could, I could watch football any other time. Billy gave 150 for what looks to be a salt shaker. Are you salty? Oh, a little right salty. And that's oh, the I'm, question I'm, I'm fucking, yes, absolutely. I don't get to see I don't get to see my uh, relatives that often. They most of my relatives outside of my immediate family, and these are sort of my immediate family. These are the closest to me. They um, China stole Thanksgiving. They did. What? Bro. China stole Thanksgiving. That's what they're doing this year. See how it is. They're, they're stealing everything this year. Gonna steal the elections. Gonna steal the Thanksgiving. Alex. Gonna steal some kid's ice cream. They probably did that too. <laughs> Alex, maybe you don't have to cancel Thanksgiving so much as you can just eat at the house there on Thanksgiving. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm just yeah. not gonna so, have anything to be thankful for because. But, but Alex, that's such a your fucking, family's fucking <laughs> alive. So dramatic. <laughs> So I mean, I what, have, were, you th- what I were you have, thankful for last year? I was thankful to be together with all my family that came in. Yeah, and that they were alive, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, so that isn't happening this year? They're not coming your in, fam- no. Your family is not coming in and they are not alive. They're still alive. Well, there's something. Exactly. But they'd be alive anyway. Well, not this is, Alex. This is, this is how people become alcoholics. I'm telling you, Alex, <laughs> you're fucking, you're pushing a Kujin toward a bottle. Seriously. No, I'm just saying the lack of gratitude is what drives people to becoming optic decays and brewskis and Ooh. fucking alcoholics. Oh. No, I'm just saying fuck 2020, okay? Look, you know what else happened? What? Okay. Oh, now it's the okay. whole year. It was started with Thanksgiving. Now it's gone to the whole this year. Is, this is one of several things that has happened this year. My, my Alex, sister... Alex, if you don't have Thanksgiving and you don't celebrate and you're not thankful, then 2020 wins. Okay. Don't let the terrorists win. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky Dick has spoken. <laughs> fucking. It's not that it's not happening. It's that it's like, fuck it. Fuck it. What's the fucking point? We're just gonna eat turkey. Exactly. It's gonna be a fucking normal day instead of a fucking fun day. Oh. With family. Kylan's giving you the business. Alex, I went to the fucking dentist. I got knocked out. I woke up. Half my leg was missing. Come on now. Yeah. Kaylin said this is going to be a first holiday season without a nana, who is very near and dear to her. It could be 100% worse, Alex. <gasps> I'm not going to go out here and have this comparison with somebody. We're not going to try oh, to make me feel bad. Know. You're going to try to make me feel bad. I ain't doing it. Oh. This dude. Well, Ooh, I mean, come on. One. You, got, you, you got stuff to be grateful for, right? Yeah. Didn't you get a new puppy? You still have all your hair, don't you? Oh, God! Wait, hold on. 
Okay, that's from Pet. It's Pest in the chat. It's Pest in the chat. Uh, I did. Uh, okay, not real. Good. I was about to freak out and be like, nope, I gotta change everything. But posted the thing and I was like, damn it! That was almost, that's that's that, no good. That was almost hot. That was it almost got warm in here. Oh, see, okay, <sighs> cool. So now that everybody is freaked out and we've lost faith, and Alex having the ability to be <laughs> grateful about anything at all, do we? Uh, do we, do we have the baked footage? Oh, you want to do that? Any kind of order, or anything? I mean, we could. I mean, cause we I could. Mean, I think we should delay it another half an hour because I need to go to the toilet and you know think about the meaning of life and. I'll you have know, you know whether you being can cancel some holidays. I was, I was know, moving some fast holidays. considering I only got a half. Th that's what I said. And then Alex went on his thing about Thanksgiving. And we've been fucked up ever since. Don't it's let me the... keep going. I'll talk about how bad 2020 has been. I'll do okay, it. but you can't cancel Thanksgiving. It just don't work that way. This, you can't. How the baked stole things. Baked in, I, I bet stole. even baked Alaska is still going to do Thanksgiving. The whole point of Thanksgiving is like, yeah, okay, maybe some things in the year were shit, but you, know, you come together to be thankful. To remind you of the things that you do have because life fucking sucks it's a day of you know appreciating what you do have instead of bitching about what you don't yeah see but i never saw it like that yeah because you're a fucking douchebag i've never looked at it as life sucks why would i do that it's... i don't think life sucks Fuck i look it at it as a fun day be with family, and I'm not gonna be with family. <laughs> <laughs> the way he says it, goddamn. Fuck right, turkey, Alex. fuck Thanksgiving. Oh, fuck. Okay. 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 Are are you good? Ish. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm fine. I was talking I to Akajit. I just oh. wanted to. I just wanted to get that in there. That is, that is fucking lame. I, I get I get it. I get it. She's got to she's got to work. So I don't I mean it's not her fault and it's not her boss's fault. She's, you know, they're going to be packed. So I don't blame anybody involved. I, Alex. Okay. What is wrong with you? Oh, right, hey, hey. Hello. Hello. How are we doing today, gentlemen, except Alex? Hello. I was doing fine. Oh, good, good. The, I didn't think there would ever be a Thanksgiving Grinch, but we found it. We found it. I'm not. I'm not. I don't even like turkey or Thanksgiving really, but it'll cancel it. Man, oh man. Damn, son. <laughs> They're canceling Thanksgiving. Mm. <laughs> He's canceled Thanksgiving so hard it's got Akajin on on slow mo with this whole with the whole baked stuff. Oh, I'm not I'm mad. Slow mo. I'm just, just waiting. You know, I keep. Oh, okay. We're doing the thing now, and then you know, it doesn't. That's when you just jump in with your your tricky dick impersonation and tell people how the country's going to be ran. He he tried to do that, and then Alex got mad about Thanksgiving again. Oh, hey see. man. Oh, hey man. You were saying you weren't mad. Right. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Oh. Oh. It's one of those. Okay. By the way, hello Ishtar in the chat. She threw a bunch of sparkles at me, so I thought I'd acknowledge her. Oh. As a tradition. Thing. But apparently, fuck tradition, because fuck 2020, life Ooh. is pain, wear a cup. Life is pain. <laughs> <laughs> That's the motto for Thanksgiving, life is pain, gobble gobble. Yeah. I kind of feel like we should have got, like, an emo Alex made. Or Man. when Trump loses. I think there's going to be more of this. If Trump there's going to be a win the election, lot more like I, 
I know that it's looking real grim on that. Like, he may still win. I I don't know who the fuck will win, but I'm hearing Biden is very likely the winner. If that's the case, I am expecting Alex to hang out on the stoop behind the fucking gym and be smoking and have oh, his God. hair slooped over on one side. Yep. yep. Yep, listening to some My Chemical Romance and going, what does it all mean, man? Quoth the Raven. <laughs> Once wow, and he's gone. Oh, see, you done just an impact. And he's no. gone. No. Thanksgiving wins. Da, da, da. Brutality. Man. Thanksgiving really fucked him up, didn't it? it thanks, Thanksgiving got serious. See, this Some, is what happens when you're not, This is what happens when you're not thankful. This is what happens when you're not. Wait, wait, hold on. Hello, Akuji. hello. I didn't hello. know anything. Welcome wait, hello. Uh, okay, I didn't know if you like kicked him out and then we're like, that's what you get for not being <laughs> thankful. <laughs> no, life I, did that. I may not have the best connection. Oh, life did. Life did not kick him out. It wasn't but, me. Well, the I didn't do it. I don't have that kind of power. Well, Alex, do you need a bully hunter uh, for being kicked out of the chat, be it by Discord or possibly a Kujin? Man. Well, got deep in here. It did. Got deep. But the best part is, is we've now stopped and started on the baked stuff like six times now. <laughs> If only, it, was, green line, if only it was just six. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Let's go to the point where all that. Fuck, you know, fuck it. Fuck the bike stuff. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Hello? yeah. Hello? Yes. Hello? We're just, we're just going to have a. It, it, is it us you're looking for? <laughs> all right. I think, I think it might be working again. Okay. If the change the title. Are you to trying the... to cancel the bake stuff too? I think so. We should change oh, the title know. to the to the Thankless Alex stream. Oh, there we go. You should you should have something called Thankless Alex show. That would be funny. I would watch. Okay. Are we good? Well, hold on, Alex. Why don't you drop out of the chat and come back to see if you're working. <laughs> well, we need to you're coaxing him into arresting himself. What are you uh... doing? <laughs> I did nothing. Here, just put these all get in my cop car. Why don't you Alex, uh, why don't you take a seat? Why don't you just have a seat? <laughs> why don't you just take a seat right there? Let's have a talk. Who hurt you? <laughs> Was it 2020? It was 2020. <laughs> here's, a, here's a turkey. Pump Name the birds. Okay, look. I happen to agree with Akagen. Y you can't let the terrorists win. They only win if you concede. They can't take Thanksgiving. It's as America as it gets. You even know an engine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see. I mean, think about that. Right think there. about that, Alex. Think about how insulting that is. You're in the like, presence of Tonka, and you're like, no, I'm not going to celebrate that holiday where we... Well, not just <laughs> that. Dude, not that just that. Like... But when he was in town, <laughs> he let me buy his food. Oh, see? <gasps> so we had like a an... real Thanksgiving. That was like Man, an dude. engine holiday once, though. Once. But then oh, you wait, had wait, Only once. Wait. Well, wait, wait, wait. I want it no every period. day. <laughs> Did you thank him for the meal? Were you thankful for the food? He uh, was. Then yes. fuck you. Oh, see? <laughs> Son of a... God. Kids. I mean, food. after, after you know, the Pilgrims and the Indians had Thanksgiving, all the Indians kind of just got killed. It wasn't really much of an Indian uh, holiday after that. I don't, I don't really know how that, you know, makes it, uh, I, it kind of, it's kind of bad for the, for the Indians, actually. It, it doesn't seem like much of a, 
Yeah, I don't know how that's good for the Indians, Thanksgiving. It's it's like that King of the Hill joke. They celebrated it once. Then you're a good reason why we wouldn't again. See? With your the moment you food. eat with an engine, you're done with Thanksgiving. Just think, Alex, your, your ancestors gave uh, Tonka's ancestors smallpox, and they gave you tobacco, so it's even. You don't even realize how bad of a position you're working yourself into, Alex. Do you know who's agreeing with you right now? Uh -oh. Peter and vegans. Oh. Uh, oh. That's what on, side that's of low. the fence you're on. That's kind of, oh, bro. That's bad. Well, and communism. Let's just be frank. Because, okay. yeah, that that's who's on your team, Alex. You want to be on that team? Because I don't like Thanksgiving either. All, all the, the, the turkey lives. Turkey lives matter. Yeah. Uh, Is that what you want, Alex? Bad team right you now. You want the vegans to win? This is how we lose to Al-Qaeda, bro. There. I mean, I understand the communist angle, because, I mean, you know, you're young. But, seriously? Peta? Ugh. Who's oh, now food? we got fires and turkey in the chat. It's a frickin' turkey apocalypse. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're setting the turkeys on fire. Uh -huh. Well, we're not gonna eat them, apparently. There's no Thanksgiving. It's cancelled. Yeeted. Yeet! People for the Seems ethical to... torture of animals. There you go. Or is it tasty? One of the two. I think tasty animals. Because I, I remember the billboard sign that used to float around the meme. Said there's there's room for all of God's animals right next to the mashed potatoes. That's a good one. And he yeeted himself, much like the th turkeys and the Thanksgiving he yeah. hates. And he's like, I'm out of here. He'll be back again. Cussing with Therese. <laughs> He'll be back. Wow. Hey, maybe we could get to the, like the, the topic before he gets back. Do it. Hurry before Good he gets luck. back. Good chop luck. chop. Here we go. All right. Here's where we left off yesterday. Um. Oh no, this... the live thing isn't working for me. Oh. I'm kidding. Go ahead. You, you fucking douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this Thank is you. what seemed to have happened last night. Uh, they're all getting liquored up, and this is what we watched yesterday. We're just going to quickly watch it again. This is his his drunk friend almost getting his cap. You're not camouflaged for shit. Oh Why my you god. <laughs> wow, listen to that slur. Oh, that slosh. Sure. Why is she wearing she camouflage? She ain't blaming him for shit. Bro. No, she can. What? No, she can. You can? What are you yeah. blending him with there? The quick. Oh. She can't. She can do whatever she wanna do. Oh my god. That's yeah. real, that's real. Hell yeah. Cause camo's dope. I'm wearing camo too. <laughs> We're matching. She can't. She can do whatever she wanna do. Oh my god. <laughs> he's so cringe at her. Good shit. Hey, right, let me get a taquito or something. Alright, he's drunk. You guys having a good night? You're not camouflaged for yeah. So that was very oh. close to being the end of them. I think so. The end of one yeah, of them. That was, they were dangerously close to someone who had something a little stronger than Mace. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that was, a, that was a lingerie shot without a window right there. Yeah. The definition oh. of close. Started bullying hmm. this chick. Uh, turns out she's with this dude and he's not going to take any of your shit. He's letting you know to get the fuck away yeah be careful with that mouth <laughs> it will kick you in shit and after right. this incident and, and this is seems to be right after they get outside and this happens no, wait what careful, dude. Careful, dude. this drunk guy yeah. still isn't finished no. i am untouchable no, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. thinks he's untouchable, untouchable. Uh, yeah he actually said that I am untouchable. That's that's what somebody one. says the before only. they get shot. <laughs> Famous last words. Yes. I am the one, the only, the untouchable. <laughs> I am the one. Uh, you already got a gun pulled on. Yeah, chill. Let's get in the car. 
I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. He's gonna go harass this chick. What? The camera's on me. I'm facing my mom. Why are you fucking with me, bitch? Oh, what's up, what you want? Why are you in my face? Ooh, for? I, you I'm leaving. In the first place? Calm down, shit. Why you got your camera in my face? What the fuck you recording me for? I'm not. Stop fucking with me, bitch. Hey. Bye. Hey. Hey, because now I feel like you fuck with me. My legs is in the I'm not. Let's go, dude. Okay, but explain to me then what the fuck you want. What do y'all want then? This chick gives him some pushback and he starts to run away. Yeah, he was, he was, he was tough Turtle. about 10 seconds ago until her attitude told him, you don't want to fuck with her. He was like, ooh. Well, even in the previous clip, you noticed that he started giving her shit. The guy pushed back a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, he wants no and part then, of it. And, and then Baked comes out of left field, the white knight, and go, oh, no, don't worry about him. He's drunk. Yeah, no, I like Camo. Look, we're the same. <laughs> yeah, okay. Everything cool. Everything's cool. cool. Yeah, I get the feeling that this chick, uh, she was ready to scrap at the very least. Yeah. Walking over here, though. Y'all were walking behind him. I'm not happy we're out. Let's go. with his bullshit. I don't give a fuck. Don't you me, bitch. You don't know me. <laughs> don't you I don't. Bitch, I'm a suit. Stop fucking with me. Well, technically, we are. Oh, comes the. Technically. We're in the middle of a parking lot at midnight, but technically. They're trying to excuse him. He's a YouTuber. I don't give a fuck. Don't you do me, bitch. Don't fuck with me. Don't you do me, bitch. Why are they getting mad at me when I'm... <laughs> right? Like, what did I do? Why are they getting mad at me? Situation, it's, it's, then they getting... All right. I the rest of the clip is... Out. Yeah, the rest of the clip is just bake whinging. Hmm. I'm just trying to help. get punched? Let me talk to you. That would assume soon if he keeps acting like this. Oh. After I heard about what happened to him earlier here in the traffic accident, I was like, man. All right. Okay, good. And then some other stuff happened. I don't know what else happened after this. I've, I've heard rumors that, you know, they got into a fight or whatever and, you know, Bake left the van. I don't have any video of that. The next thing oh. that I do have is the next day uh the rv hmm. apparently got the catalytic converter stolen out of it and they get broken down on the side of the road and that's when this happens you guys will have to watch the stream um okay. do we have the uh law and order sound effect? the next day don't do well this isn't playing the sound <laughs> Alright, give me a minute to load this up some other way, because the sound is not playing. Oh, it was playing on me. stream. Was it? YouTube me. Yeah. What, oh, was you hearing it locally? Oh, that's I couldn't hear it. Oh dear. Hmm. Hmm. What happened? It, yeah, see. In the chat are saying it played just fine. We could hear it. They were saying it was great. Yeah, but you couldn't. Hear. Yeah, and I'm what's important. So, <laughs> true. <laughs> mm, yes, it's all about me. The way he says that, looking on the screen, where it's just him on that one side. <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm what's important. <laughs> you can feel the judgment. I said, like, oh, the the Grinch has returned. Hmm. I was I was back that whole time. You didn't notice? Oh, that? no, okay. you can't have my cornucopia. Oh, well, by the way, since you're back, do Marini given five to say some folk got it worse than you and still got stuff to be thankful for. It ain't that bad, you baby. You could be thankful that you're not baked Alaska and stuck in the middle of Texas after getting kicked out of an RV. No, at the, at the least. Billy had given five and said, I'm really missing leader right now. 
And then Pancello Shots came to him and said, Pita, vegans, and commies sounds like a sad ass time. I, I was trying to say before my internet went to hell is that it's not that we're not going to eat turkey and shit. It's just, it's not going to be much of a Thanksgiving. Oh, so it's not up to snuff, is what the problem is. Yeah, because oh. nobody's coming in. We're not going to be doing anything. It's just going to be like any other day. We're just having a big dinner. Alex is going to be sitting there take a bite of turkey. Fuck this fucking turkey. <laughs> All right, I did my time. Flip table and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck 2020. Yeah. Wu-Tang. So they got the... Uh, apparently the catalytic converter's been stolen. RV is broken down. They are yeah. waiting for a tow. The drunk guy that almost got his shit peeled last night, he's obviously passed out. And this is what happens. What? What is even happening? I thought you were fucking with people. Hey, come fucking Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, sh
and you expect anything less than an ass whipping. You might be asking for a little much. Yeah, that's your mistake. That's... Well, then how can you say that's election related if you'd be like that any day? Well, yeah, I would be like that any day. I would be that way any day. Baked was not like that any day. Uh, Everybody seemed to be partying and having a fun time right up until about two or three days ago. That's just what I, I, I don't know, what I see. Like, they were doing crazy shit and going across the country being idiots. And I'm just saying. I thought over. Baked was an asshole all the time, personally. Oh, yeah, he's an idiot. But uh, maybe I'm off in the observation. Not a big thing. I'm just saying that maybe it was less fun feeling in the, in the fucking RV. They've well, been, been around each other a long time. You have uh, not as much fun anymore. Uh, people were apparently giving them shit in the chat about the elections. I, I'm just, I'm guessing. I don't know these people and don't want to. Just a prank, bro. I'll break somebody's fucking neck over this shit. <sighs> you know, when I'm just waking up, you don't want to fuck around and find out. You gotta give me five minutes. <laughs> Again, no matter what, I'm not dropping any end bombs. But <laughs> uh, all right, Pest is saying that he doesn't think. I'm not talking about that guy cares specifically about the election. If that's what you're getting, I gotta try this. Again. The no, temperature exactly is you. not as fun right now as it would have been a week or two ago. Yeah, he's just saying. I think he's trying to say that tensions were already heightened because you know. Things aren't Shit's going not, the way they yeah. want. People are generally disgruntled. There. Yeah, it's a vibe. You know, so the tempers flare easily check. over things that they might necessarily not flare over before. Exactly. About, yeah. I'm not saying they're talking about it, arguing about it, disagree about it. I'm not saying anything of the such. I'm just saying this is an extra thing kind of looming over an already very tense atmosphere. And probably just add it on top of it because it, did bait get depressed about it who was saying who's talking about that that bait got really depressed about elections and shit like this became a very not fun place as you can see what was a party palace on wheels has turned <laughs> into a prison of their emotions alex do you want to get on an rv they got a spot open yeah, you can go over there and not be thankful, you fucking commie. Wow! Okay. Oh! Wait, let me see. There you go again, opening up those old wounds. It's well, speaking nice. of old wounds, Alex, just make sure you're not dropping end bombs. I think that'll get yeeted quick, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Alex has got mic problems again or something. Oh, so we have another thing to be grateful for this Thanksgiving. Oh, oh, hey, oh! <laughs> an early, an early Thanksgiving. Oh, right, Alex went over there to eat. Somebody share a turkey. There you go. Okay. So, a fight breaks out on the RV. Yeah. <laughs> Things are. Not, not going a, well. It's not a very, very Brady Christmas, is it? It's not. Yeah, <laughs> this doesn't look like a fun, happening place to be. Where's that lady who was paying for everything? Oh, man. Oh, Where's she, she at? She what bailed. is she thinking? Oh, no! They had somebody that was flipping their bill for him. You didn't see that? No, I didn't. Okay, one dude is banging on about how he needs $100 right now if they're going to keep it, doing this. This guy. Yeah. And they do this for like 15 minutes or some shit. Trying and some to woman get is just like $25 here. out of baked. That. <laughs> he will not give him $20. Everybody's like $20, $25 a piece and we're good. He won't do it. Baked Alaska will not give him $25. Wow. So what the fuck ever. And some woman hands him $100 and says, let's do it. Let's do this thing. Let's just, let's just move along with our day. Everyone shut the fuck up. By and, the way, I want to uh, point out that I'm very surprised no mace came out in this altercation. <laughs> I'm assuming there's, Same. Kind of like there's a lingering scent that's just 
permeated everything inside there. I mean, maybe it came out after the <clears throat> edited part. Oh. I wouldn't blame the guy if it did at that point. But I'm surprised we had almost full fisticuffs, no maze. Well, that's because it wasn't involving baked. Uh, mm. Directly. That seems to be his calling card, so to speak. Oh, it's being called content spray or content juice in the chat. Uh, Makes sense. Oh. Oh. The but generator, no, the generator of content. But I gotta say, this RV is packed with winners. That's all. I oh have. Yeah. yes. <laughs> Can you imagine? I uh, uh, no. I don't want to. You can't make me. Yeah, no, that's a nightmare. So, do we know? Oh God. All right, we'll gotta talk about that in a minute. Mm. But uh, Man, that fucked me up. Now I now I got I gotta get back <laughs> over the visual, the visual. No, I I no, I read something. Oh. We'll talk about it in a second. It's another thing. But can can anybody fathom like what what was the whole thing of bait getting kicked off like? Was that on air or did he he turned his camera off? Does anyone have the bait getting kicked off thing? Or bake walking off of it thing. Uh, the surrender. I haven't seen it. Man, it has yeah, not shown I was gonna say he he probably doesn't want to like broadcast him getting kicked out. The well somebody else <laughs> had a sure camera. Somebody's oh, somebody's got it. Somebody oh, had their camera on. But I don't have it. Uh, so you can't see it. Man. Man, oh man. Okay. If that exists. Someone, please throw it over. But in the meantime, do you remember when we interviewed the person who did the Project Melody thing? Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Something is happening now. He struck me as a very reasonable guy, um, but, you know, for what he was doing. I guess it's because uh, he was just, he was a computer tech guy, he was a 3D modelist who was getting into um, a fringe industry. Okay. That's a long thing. Where the, where the fuck is Alex? Uh oh. When the weeb girl shit shows up. Uh, off somewhere being ungrateful. Motherfucker. Mm. Oh, that's what it is. That's why he's such a sour puss. Apparently Project Melody got banned from Twitch this morning. Oh, so he lost oh. his anime girls. That explains the attitude. Is she gone? It all makes sense, no. The Project Melody deal is... There's problems. Oh, wait, before we get into this... Let's just finish off the other thing. This is apparently baked leaving the RV. Oh, you got it now. Okay. No. Good deal. Thank you, Pest. Anonymous donated $3.33. Blades one and two are human shit. Oh, is a shitty goofy ball. Yeah. Blades one and two are human shit. Wow. Jesus. All right, Perry, you can't do that shit. You know, that's just fucking dumb, dude. Not even a anonymous donated three dollars thirty-three. Blades one and two are human shit. Oh, so this is apparently oh. leaving the LV. Yeah. Bye bye. That that's literally it. Uh, don't know what led up to this, but this is what we got. You sir, are the weakest blank. That's sad. Bye bye. The end of an era. Thanks for an RV. Oh, McGruff says Q sad Hulk music. I, did, I think I sent that to you, Cooch. Sad Hulk you, music. If you have it on yours, you can press it. it. Okay. Shit. I did it. 
Uh, you fucking on. soundboard people, and, and you're not having your soundboards out at the soundboard moments. What the right, fuck? Here we go. Pl are you playing it? The uh, video? Yes. You can play it on a loop. All right, here we go. Oh God! Uh, it seems we have a few more things, tidbits. Oh, oh, good stuff. Oh, no. All right, I'll keep the Hulk music ready. <laughs> yep. All right, this appears to be the next day. This is obviously after they had the scrap. Oh man! Oh shit! The fucking sound. Oh, Fuck! That's a lot of money. Dopey looking dude. Are you Eleven saying? Eleven thousand has been spent so far. Wow. For this one guy. For this. <laughs> oh. So much for untouchable. Oh. Wonder if he what just, a fool! Yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder if he just wakes up and says, "Man, I just spent eleven thousand dollars for this shit show." Uh, the music can work on his money leaving his wallet. Yep, that, that's <laughs> dumb. Uh, all right, start playing it. Fucking buffoon. <laughs> Guy, did you see that comment that where was? Oh man, he's like the fucking of state of it, man. Bye. He's just sit, sitting there with both his hands on his head. Hmm. Uh, yep. <laughs> Uh, I, I imagine that this is played on all played on TTS. Oh, you can only imagine. It's a hell of a. Uh, They're getting eaten up. I've Asian. muted it because I haven't. This has not been reviewed, and so we don't know what gets. Oh, started. I got nothing but bad feelings about what oh, this yeah. is going to sound like. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stream your mom warned you about. Oh. At the end of the day, when you sleep at night and aren't in the public eye, I hope you remember this dono when you're crying tonight, losers. <laughs> That's just mean. It's bullying. Uh, less than what is deserved. Man, oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> Ayo! <laughs> <laughs> you want to take this one, hey man? Yeah. 
If you're a fatty and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> hey, Baked, you are the fakest person on this RV. Casey said it best. We see right through your bull crap, you fat wimp. Sammy wouldn't even mess with you. You have pulled zero poon this RV trip. Yikes. <laughs> Woo! I guess, wow. Sammy, I guess Sammy was that right uh, elderly chick who was paying for shit. Oh. That, that uh, you know, somebody's mom whose kids have left home. Oh, man. And now is looking for something to do with her life. That's amazing. <laughs> it's so mean. It's just wrong in so many levels. Does he wait? Does he have shoes? <laughs> you don't even have shoes. <laughs> no, does I think maybe he does. I couldn't tell if he had shoes on. Does he? Please say he has shoes at least. Those aren't shoes. Those are hobbit's feet. Oh no! How does he rock that fucking haircut, man? That is the same holy. way he rocks being. <laughs> everything else he is. Yeah, man. he's Come wearing he's a fucking this. loser. He's wearing shoes that just some sort of women's shoes. Very, <laughs> very effeminate. They probably oh, don't like even Crocs have laces. or some shit. Probably don't have some... laces. They're slip-ons. I looked in chat. Somebody got sedated. Oh no, it's fine. It happens. Oh yeah, that guy kept talking about. Hey, let me post links. Let me post links. Fuck. Wow. I would read that name and think, yeah, I'm gonna give him the power to post links. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'm judging you. Okay, for the Jesus record, I like. Super chat. Hmm. You want to take it, Alex? Three dollars. Give it to Baked Alaska because once he leaves the RV, nobody will even remember him. We are here for Blade. Take this three dollars, Alaska. You're going to need it once you leave. You will have to work at McDonald's for pay. Bye, bye, Leech, Alaska. Mm. <laughs> oh. Okay, apparently the actual goodbye, the t the real tearjerker moment, I have the timestamp for it. You want to head okay. to that? Okay, hold on, hold on. Akujin, can you load up goodbye horses Ooh, there you oh, go. I in the background? Oh, I can. Oh, you most certainly I appreciate that. He's producing. Okay, I'm ready oh. for this. At this, I have a feeling, is going to go longer than the Hulk mu walking away music. <laughs> Like, and mm. I've got a bad feeling about this bake meltdown we're about to see, and I don't know. It's gonna sound bad, and maybe if we have goodbye horses going, it will mask it some. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys on the other channel tomorrow, by the way. Oh, when we get oh, got, yeah. I have a feeling. Oh yeah, I am <laughs> on the show. A That's a red flag. That's all it takes. We're gonna go on mute. Uh, we can uh, we let it happen. Play goodbye horses in the background. Let's let's let it happen. Alright. Yeah, this is thing. the moment. Yeah, so like my blankets and pillows. Maybe because there's an answer. Like, treat me like bye. I sound like a good guy. I can't do things. Have fun though. I'll see you guys in Arizona. So. Slice it up. Hey, watching the Golden Girls. I was gonna say that's what it sounded like, didn't it? Yeah. Thanks for being my friend. I'm gonna fucking miss you guys. Fuck. I already miss you. I haven't even left. Fuck. Oh, you fucking bundle of sticks. Sorry, guys. I gotta go get my car. I'll see you in Arizona. Hey, yo. See you guys. All right, buddy. Appreciate it, brother. All right, well. Drop 2020! Drop 2020! Fuck you! He's winning four more years. That's right. Oh! Yo, yo, yo! She won, um, Michigan or something, Wisconsin. They said, someone said he just won another state. Oh, sure, 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 I kind of want to go back to where he yells Trump 2020 and play the Price is Right thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, it's not yet. It's not official. Uh, either that or the gong sound from the gong show. One or two. Mm -hmm. He's not doing so well. No. What, we'll see. What inspired him to leave? What, like, that would be the moment when he announces, okay, I'm leaving. I, I gotta go. This is... This is too I much. Got, yeah, I need to go. Because I heard it was Chats going in on him, and he evacuates. 
He that I heard about the eleven thousand dollar RB bill and said, "Hey, see ya." Oh, see ya. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Gotta Whoa. go, man. Whoa, guys, eleven thousand dollars. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. That's gonna affect my personal life too much. Whoa, dog. Like something happened. Whoa, dog. Hold on. I want to know what the catalyst is for him to leave. That some say uh, he scammed people on the trip. Who did he scam? What did he do? I saw him mace people and act like an idiot. Yeah, that's normal. I was gonna say with it being he's normal. But maybe the question is, is who didn't he scam? He's normal. He's normal man. Is he, did he just lay on the couch and then get up and say, I'm leaving? <laughs> I gotta go by. Mm. That's why I see you. Well, you guys are ready. I can see you. Why is that guy always wearing a blanket? TTD donated $3. He's skinny. He's cold. Seriously, oh, all, all the skinny friends I know, that's how they're like. Good content. like I'm, I feel like a sitting duck here. So, And I don't want to like slow you guys down or anything if you want to like relax and go around like i think you found it back up yeah. Yeah, really i think you found it you think that was him walking out no, back back i'm announcing he's gonna leave but let us know oh! and be honest and you're like, what the fuck? What? yeah because they're <laughs> hanging out with this old broad okay so that's anonymous the donated three dollars 33 Kick baked and get the grandma on the RV. She's been more content in 10 minutes than baked has been this entire trip. Grandma, will you twerk for the chat? Twerk for the chat. <laughs> oh, so it seems like the chat bullied him they kicked, off. They, they kicked him off the island. They kicked him off the, the chat island. is talking about how much cooler the old lady is than baked. Yes. Man. And he can't handle this. And he's finally like, fuck it, I'm leaving. An hour okay. later, he's out. What a fucking baby. All right, now, wait, see if that's legit. Keep going, keep going. Well, I know that exactly an hour from now, he's walking out the door. Anonymous donated $3.33. Baked Alaska is the only sane one on the one RV. That lady used to blow so many cowboys in the porta potty of a festival. Now she is a worn out ugly meth cunt. Kids don't oh. do meth, kids don't do meth, kids don't do meth, kids don't do meth, kids don't do meth. Knickers donated three dollars thirty-three. Hey lady, would you consider mud wrestling Egypt beauty? Sweet Aaron in three years, by the way. Sweet Aaron. <laughs> Johnny Russell donated $3.33. Baked potato take the walk of shame Joe Biden made you. Baked potato! Joe <laughs> Biden always wins 100%. Baked potato is a loser who always runs away. Baked he potato! He is a scary cat loser. Cops are looking for you, Baked. I sent them the clips. You have multiple warrants out now. Oh. <laughs> what? I gotta go. What? Whoa, well dog! <laughs> Oh, oh, go. Multiple warrants. Multiple warrants? I can believe it. How many how many crimes have we witnessed him committing? At the bare minimum, a, a nuisance. No, I've seen him commit straight up assaults. No! Hello, Elon people. What's up, Alex? Fuck off. You and grateful bastard. Look at Bake's pissy face. <laughs> he hates Bake's pissy face. face. When someone provides <laughs> content. Hey, self-centered Andy. Go lay anyway, on the bed in the uh, back. See bake. more Bake shenanigans. You forced the RV uh, to go this to shows the world. Shut up and Matt hop in. Hours. Hours. Yeah, there's more. It's not over. Mm -hmm. We're hearing why he left. They are going in hard as fuck on... He's, I don't even see him. He's not even there.
Yeah, he and is. All of the he's, donations I think are he's burying in, the fuck out of him. Is he hiding in the right corner here, out of view? Or is I he so. behind the curtain? I think he's hiding in the corner there where we can see just his arm. I thought he was sulking in the Maybe dark room back there. It's He's <laughs> one of the two. He's just brooding back there like a fucking teenage girl. Turn Sitting there listening to it, crying, because, you know, the chat doesn't like him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. More. Next time you guys yeah. said that I was king. Wait, Pess said it. <laughs> He's in the back. He is oh, brooding in the dark. He's, he's sitting there listening to he's a crime brooding. adding right now. Turn around. <laughs> Bright eyes. Baked potato. <laughs> Why, dude? Why would you do this when you know? Like, put up a front at least. I, yeah. the, all these guys are so good at putting up this fake front of being this shit that they aren't. They right, always man. let it drop. The one time, I think, is when you put up a front. If he were to put up a front right now, make a brave face about it and say, I gotta go, it'd be one thing. He is in the back room, behind a little curtain, <laughs> crying, sitting in the dark. I'm like a mushroom, I'm in the dark. Ugh. We all know you're not happy if you're doing that. You're not asleep. And he's so, not playing with the team out front. Yeah. There's not a woman with you back there. It's just you. Sitting in the dark. While all your friends are hanging out. Yeah, okay. Ah. <sighs> He may he he brought it on himself. Like if you're gonna sit in the fucking dark with a loudspeaker <laughs> on, people are gonna notice you're back there brooding, motherfucker. Yeah, let's go to Agamon. You're having a cry. They all know you're back there having a cry. A anybody doubt he's having a cry? One in the chat if he's in the back room having a cry wank. Two cry if you think not, nah, he's just wank. in there listening to music. He's just in there listening to some music or something. You know, pre mm. press 2 or X to doubt cry wank. But truly madly one for a cry. Is that away the pain? <laughs> no. Yeah, he's listening, he's listening to all the uh, the yellow card songs. He's like, they don't fucking hate me, I swear, and he's just jerking it away. <laughs> Stop! Vlogging the old dolphin. Oh, he's in there pasting those chubby cheeks and tears of gravy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck kind of description is that? Oh. Doom Marine said that. Good he's fucking, God. Yeah, he's, he's plastering his face with gravy and he's jerking off at the same time. Sir! Oh, man, that breakfast gravy. Even. Oh. Is it, is it Alex isn't allowed to talk about gravy because gravy served at Thanksgiving. Oh. And there's that. Is that y'all gotta y'all gotta get off this shit already? Damn, I thought we were. <laughs> you need to get on this shit. Thanksgiving hadn't even happened Moby. yet. Okay. <laughs> Do wait, wait, wait. No, not again. No, we're not going back <laughs> to Thanksgiving and Alex's problems. We're on baked. For real though, what do you think will be said that will bring him? Out from behind the curtain, making of course he will come stomping through like stone cold, you know, like a bad motherfucker. Obviously, he won't come moping out of that curtain. That's not what's gonna happen. I want, I want to keep watching until he comes out of that curtain. I can read a motherfucker. I can, I know what kind of swagger is in your step. I want to see it. What do you think it'll be like? I, I take it none of you guys I, have seen I, this. I, I haven't seen it. I'm thinking it's going to be squishy, though. <laughs> it's going to be real <laughs> squishy. <laughs> uh, but she's going to have his head down, and you know his arms are going to be flailing in the wind. There we go. Uh, Doom Marine had a guess. The shuffling gate. Hunt shoulders, head low. Oh, there you go. Uh, and McGruff says the glass will 100% break when he comes through that curtain. <laughs> okay, so, I, I think he's so we got two through. different views here. <laughs> 
He's gonna go full. He's gonna walk out. The glass is gonna shatter, and he's gonna go. And he's gonna climb up on the sink and throw his belt over his shoulder. Three sixteen. Well, break three sixteen says I just whooped your ass. And then he's just gonna, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna beat Deborah. That's what's gonna happen. Oh God! All right, yeah, Deborah. Uh, wow, over the top. <laughs> it's uh, Stone Cold's wife. There, there may have been a court case about that. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Oh, yeah. Look at Alex trying to get the heat off of himself and throw it on Stone Cold Steve Austin. There you go. Throw one Texan under the bus to save yourself. You're getting real unfucking Thanksgiving <laughs> today. You know, it's... <laughs> Damn. Okay. Let's, let's see how it goes. Baked potatoes, big exit. There we go. No, I didn't. Self centered Andy. <laughs> Clear that get up. me drunk, I and will. Fucking force the RV to go to Dallas. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. No, we Squish. Go to Squish. Yeah. Squish. No, that's not it. <laughs> he is, he is oh. in the bottom right. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, hey, what, what time We better we? hope. Yeah, there, there was two of them back there. Yeah. 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 He's cut off in the bottom right. Sheldon donated $3.33. Hey, the ladder was getting Little bummed in the back. Paul Sheldon. Literally. You may not I mean, know me, but I am Paul Sheldon, dead. the author of Misery's Child. We tried, and Be warned. Dead. That oh, woman no, is so Annie Wilkes. Yeah, we she kidnapped me and. What is that? What? that uh, the what? what? <laughs> Annie Wil Isn't that the lady from Misery? I'm not doing this because anyone in the chat wants me to go home, by the way. Oh. Here we go. Here's him crying. If I wanted to be here, I would stay here. Alright, no, no, no. ba bag it up a little. But. Go back like 2030 to like the beginning of whatever he tries to say. Not going up. The cops are on the lookout for you. You have multiple <laughs> warrants out for you in multiple states. Ten dogs shot, fifteen for a double. Anonymous donated three dollars. Hey baked, I've always defended you when people shit on you. But earlier you went in on Blade because he said you had Baywatch shorts. You're <laughs> Did not go in on Blade. Anonymous donated three dollars thirty-three. Go home baked. Go home baked. Go home baked. Go home baked. Oh god! I'd be out of that army so fucking fast. Go home baked. 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 Look at everybody just kind of. Go home baked. Isn't TTS a great idea, guys? Aren't you just loving this? This is amazing content right here. It's almost like they should make it more expensive so they can't spam it. The content. God damn. Go home. The interactivity. What a life. What an existence. Every dollar you make doing this, I'm not doing this anyone... isn't worth it. Oh, there he oh, goes. Right there. Here he goes. Oh. The, the amount of money anymore, you could make sucking dicks compared to listening to Go Home. I feel like I'd have more respect for myself <laughs> if I were on the corner being a literal prostitute than if I were to be a this TV kind core. of streamer. Yeah, where you will do what a chat tells you to do for... I absolutely have 100% more respect for a prostitute than Baked. So yeah. he's an RV whore? I don't know. It's... They're, they're a he's whore's some... whore. Oh, so he's, he's a whore's whore. Yeah. Mm. Other question. Can we reel it back? A little bit where he's like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah, yeah that was the moment. That okay, moment. you did. Okay, good. I'm not doing this because anyone in the chat wants me to go home. By the way, I don't give a, I don't give a shit. Oh, apparently he's already announced it because they're discussing. I don't know when he announced it though. Oh, ah, oh, bummer. I it could have been anywhere in the past eight hours. I did too. That was that was very defeated. Yeah, you could hear it. That was the squishy moment. That, that was, was like, very I'm defeated. I'm not doing this anymore. That was a Heyman fart noise moment. <laughs> if I wanted to be here, I would stay here. Oh, he doesn't want to be there. These RV trips are fucking rough, dude. I just don't want to be here anymore. I'm just being honest. I appreciate everything. I love everyone. I love everyone. <laughs> 
I just anonymous <laughs> donated three dollars thirty three. Baked, you might as well drive home because the second you fly, the feds will grab you. Either way, they'll grab you when you go home. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous donated $3.33. Civil war incoming time for comedy is over. Now it's time for tragedy. Uh, now it's time for tragedy. Now it's time for tragedy. <laughs> Baked as a He's drama very... queen donated three dollars. <laughs> Look at his face. Stop this weird passive aggressive shit. Stop talking and just do what you want. This I has sent he a prison. You, goofy, leeched, hair, titty, boy. Bye, Tim. Bye, Tim. No. Bye, Tim. <laughs> you still a lot of by the way. Bye, Tim. Goofy, goofy bleached Tim. hair, titty, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> that was pretty great. <laughs> That was pretty great. That was long hand for Captain Peroxide. Imagine, Holy shit. Imagine being such a fucking whore. You're going to sit there and let that robot insult you. All day. All night. Well, I just love how Every he's in the middle, middle of He's like, I'm not doing it because of the chat, man. I just want to leave on my own volition. And then all of a sudden you hear, Whoa! Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Another donation. <laughs> fuck, your, fuck your feelings. Woo! <laughs> fucking idiot. God. Squeaky toy, coming out of Alex. Yeah, that's that's my uh, puppy. Does it well, hate Thanksgiving so. too? Never mind. Keep going. <laughs> he brought it back up. He said the thing. Dude, I feel it. Like, you know, like I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to degrade you or what you do or anything. Aww. I just, I just do different things. Like, we, I don't. We 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 agree on that. We're very different people, and yeah. I fucking love you. And I've had a. Great time. God, like, well, stop well, saying well, that. Well, but well, at the same time, it's like I don't fucking drink. <laughs> like that's yeah. I don't party. I don't yeah, drink. I just drink don't. Dude. I just don't do that shit. I just do different and, things. And I, I understand. You like, know what I mean? I just bear mace people. Is when I worked in a bar, every single person that worked in a bar drinks a little bit. He's such a cool, fucking liar. But there's no way that a sober person can be around and drunk people. No! It doesn't work. Anonymous donated three dollars thirty-three. Biden achieves two hundred seventy votes to declare victory on national television this week. Yeah, you're Trump will prove fraud in court and secure the presidency, but it will be too late. The nation will have accepted Biden, and the media will paint Trump as usurper and thief. Dirty. Oh, this is good stuff. Yeah, no, I'm getting oh, man. Can you He's getting a flight right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. Speaking of the Travelocity gnome. Oh. If he looked like Guy Fieri. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Crucial has given two to say. Bake sounds like Akajim playing Dead by Daylight. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah. That's main though. That is me. That's a shot across the bow. I need a bully hunter. <laughs> I also need one of those. That was mean. He looks so defeated, man. That shit was crazy. He is defeated. He is slumped over. Like, he is slumped over. The man who's been going across the country macing people now needs a bully <laughs> hunter. He needs a wet nap because it's squishy. Oh, hold on. Doom Ring gave five. I'm not leaving because you want me to, but I think I'm going to go now, guys. I'm going to go now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Broken, Broken alas. alas. Yeah. Oh, god damn. That was good. I think I'm, I'm going to just go. It's... I mean, everybody's Look. yelling for me to go, but I'm not going because of that. <laughs> I, just, I just do I just do different things, you know. Yeah, we're just, we're different people. It's not you, it's me, you know. It's... Yeah. I don't want to degrade what you do. You're great. I love you. I oh, love you. God, that was so horrible. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! New donation. <laughs> oh fuck. God. It's so sad. It is pretty sad. I uh, I enjoyed his misery. Uh, fuck. Look at the fucking 
Look at the Somebody blood. has to here. have the thing from the moment when he left. Man. It's gotta be out there. It's in this eight hour thing. Somebody was watching it. I don't have eight hours to watch oh, that. Oh, same. Man. Say, I, I, God. Uh, I, would, I don't I know how people to... watch it to begin with, but uh, shit happens. I've noticed that. If you watch uh, for long enough, someone will break happened. the law. <laughs> <laughs> someone break the law m multiple times, apparently. Because yeah. apparently this dude's got multiple arrest warrants. Jeez. What would it be? You got the. They're firing that shit off over and over and over at him. He's sitting in this fucking thing. You know, I think I'm just gonna go. <laughs> so, and, yeah, you think? And you just knew. You, you know, he uh, knew where the camera was at, so he was purposely leaning back not to be in shot until the yeah. point. Like, like you said, he, he's, he's surfing for a flight right now. <laughs> I got to go. He'd like to go, yeah. And the chat saw through that shit too, because that, that one their nature is like, as soon as you get a flight, they gonna get you. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, can you imagine this life? Oh my god, so it's trash. Oh you you guys will know that that movie um, RV with a uh, I think it had Robin Williams in it. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay, so uh, it was a bad, bad time for them. I look at that. I look at that. Like I look at this, but it's like way worse. He's like Robin Williams is running around macing people. I'm guessing in this movie, RV hijinks ensue. RV hijinks ensue. Oh. That surprises me. Did Robin Williams Rob have a better RV trip than Baked Alaska? I think he had a better trip. <laughs> All things considered. It's a high bar. It's, it's pretty high Robin bar. Robin fucking Williams, man. <laughs> We're going to keep searching for this thing. And I'm going to also get a drink because I have a feeling we may find it. I... <sighs> The other thing with the Project Melody, apparently Project Melody doesn't exist because, or I say doesn't exist, doesn't exist on Twitch and YouTube anymore because the person who made it, the, that we interviewed, they, they they're suing? For the model that they use or something like that and I have a weird feeling that our interview with them is uh, is about to get like put in a court case because I can't I think he said that he sold the model to her and if that's the case he doesn't have a claim he sold it right you would think hmm and if he looks at it now and it's like, okay, well, she has made a lot of money and now I want to see That's not going to look good. I don't know. I could have that wrong. But he talked about all that on there. So if it was like a joint thing, it would be there. And if it wasn't, then it would be too. Just look so, at Digitrev's X Twitter. I don't I got a bad feeling crazy. about that. So are you implying that we may actually have an IRL Kumite court? Yeah. Damn. Something from the channel, one of the channels, I think it would be the K&N channel now, would be entered into court as evidence. That might be a thing. Yeah. Your Honor, Exhibit K. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a thing that may happen. Uh, the models are paid for by commission. If that's the case, then they own it, right? I don't know if that one is different or what because I know that Project Melody does a, a lot of things that other <clears throat> others don't do. I'm being decent. I think you are. <laughs> being decent there. Uh... 
It's no different. He's better because he's insanely famous and rich now. Well, yeah, I imagine they've made a dumb amount of money. She has DMs from saying she owns the IP. I don't know. If anybody can get a hold of Project Melody, let her know that we have an interview with that guy. And he talks about... Uh, I'm pretty sure he said he sold it to her. Like he sold the model to her and he was getting offers from other ones that want right? I remember this. It was a weird conversation. That sounds different. Yeah. But, yeah, if somebody, uh, I don't know who the hell would have an in with whoever does Project Melody or whatever, but let him know we have an interview. And he said that he did. <laughs> like, it, this is not an issue. Or, it, it's an issue, but it shouldn't be an issue. It's actually really easy to find that um, that episode we did because if you type in Digitrev X Project Melody, our uh, K&N and YouTube, it just shows up on fucking on Google. Oh, God. So it's... It shows up. It's fucking funny. He's mad his commission is making bang, and if he's on record saying I sold her my service model, whatever, he has no case whatsoever. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, he has that. He made it. Uh, I'm gonna go get a drink, but if you haven't looked over, she put out this twit longer, and... Mm -hmm. Very informative. Very informative. I already read over it, and it's, uh, I don't know. I talked to him the other day in a, in a DM, but it wasn't about this, and I had no idea that he was, he was pissed over Project Melody being, uh, uh, popular. He didn't even, like a, he didn't even seem like he cared about that kind of thing at the time. Well, from what I read of the twit longer, it sounds like it's a business issue and an issue of who owns what, what was paid for, what wasn't. But again, just reading her side of things, it sounds like it was pretty straightforward. And that unfortunately, there was a lot of just sort of implied stuff where he's like, no, no, no I'll do X for you. And she goes, well, all right, I'll pay you. And he goes, no, nah, it's fine. So nothing was ever contracted or put into stone. And that's how this shit usually turns upside down. That's how it always seems to turn upside down, huh? Well, yeah, because it's just too vague. It's like, well, yeah. all right, well, what what did I do for you, air quotes, for free or as a gift? You know, and, and what did you actually pay me for, you know? Services rendered versus I'm just doing you a favor. Yeah. And if you don't make that crystal clear and have everybody sign off you get this shit okay yeah unfortunately of the VTubers I actually watch I don't watch Project Melody I've seen I've seen uh, shit she's been in but uh, I don't know much about her specifically Yeah, I think I follow her channel on Twitch, but I think that was back from when the interview happened. I, I follow yeah, Digitrev X on sense. Twitter, but that's because um, that was right after... Um, you talked to Yeah, that was right after we talked to him, so I started following him on Twitter. Okay. We need to listen to this interview. We, we have a calling. We need to find this clip, and we have the right to hear it as uh, it's ours and I don't I don't see us striking us so 
that we should just listen to it and see if we can find the thing and if we can find the thing we need to clip it out and somebody just take that clip and put it up under project melody's thing where she can have the thing of the guy saying derp 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 well uh there's the entire thing uh for the the anime chatterbait model with digitrev x creator on blah 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 we'll just get the one that's smaller to look yeah through real quick why would yeah, we go through the bigger one in order to look for it but let me I go posted, get a drink i posted them both in the right, hold on. in the general let me go get a drink and then we will comb through these and we will do actual i don't know deciphering and action of doing the right thing that's always good to do isn't that long of an interview i don't think either how long is it watch it be forever fucking long <laughs> did he come on like most of the show for like two two fucking hours or something it looks like it's an hour and 40. <laughs> Of course he did. Okay. We'll be toward the beginning. I don't know. With it being an hour and four, you'd still want to go in case you could find multiple times of him saying that he did. I, mean, I thought it would be like an hour long top so I would just be like double speed it and we'll go through it. But yeah, if it's, if it's how long we don't need to. When we find it, you have to let me be the simp and, and post it to her. Oh, you, you yep. need head pets. I need that. I got to be the guy. Okay. Oh, Nico's already on the job, you son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> Doomerine said, oh, do you think you'd be thankful for that, Alec? Oh, God. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. Nice. We keep coming back. We keep coming back. I I was willing to go back to the Thanksgiving topic. I just didn't want to do it in the middle of the baked Alaska thing. Because I, I thought everybody was trying to get to that. It's not that we're not going to do Thanksgiving. It's just that it's been a family holiday as a tradition, and it's going to suck without having the family here. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, fuck it. You can do Thanksgiving <laughs> uh, live chat. I mean... Yeah, but that's not quite the same. It's not the same, but it'll work. I don't, yeah, I don't, think, I don't think any of my boomer-ass family knows how to do any of that shit. I mean, I'd rather do that than go, yeah, 2020, you can suck my dick, man. Yeah, he, just, he, he, went, he went hard on that. I was like, oh, so we doing this today. <laughs> this project this reality going away make you hate 2020 even more? <laughs> oh, there you go. Is what? The Project Melody thing make you hate 2020 even more? Oh, I mean, I, I imagine she'll, she'll, she'll do whatever. She'll be fine. I'm not... I, I'm not like a massive fan of her compared to some other VTubers, but uh, she is a she is friends with some of the ones I watch. So, no, what the fuck is a VTuber? It's like a normal streamer, except instead of putting their uh, face up, they use a model so they don't have to show their face. It's oh, that's, that's genius. That's genius. I bet you there's a ton of simps over there. They, uh, yeah. One there's of them is, there's one a, of couple them is of, a naked there's a anime of, girl, and that's why they like her so much. There's a couple of guys who do it. Oh, God. But it's mostly women. Oh, that makes perfect sense. I bet you they are getting their wallets drained. There's actually a VTuber uses that fucking fat guy from Fist of the North Star, Heart. That's fucking hilarious to me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's the fucking funniest one to me. He just uses the fucking fat dude from Fist of the North Star. That's, I have a feeling that this oh. dude is going to put out who Project Melody is pretty soon. Oh. A dox? Yeah. Ugly. Oh. That would be really fucked up. Dude, that's messed up. Okay, so we five about... bucks, five bucks on the on the on the board right now that's saying that she's ugly as fuck. The girl? 
Yes. What the lady who behind Melody? Yes. Oh. Well, I've seen a couple. Of, I've seen a couple of VTubers uh, before they did VTubing, and they were decent looking. Like uh, Yanners is she's a really face. Yeah, she because she did it. She was around before VTubing was a thing, so she we had seen what she looked like. Well, what about a Project Melody? Uh, no. I've Probably. never okay. seen what she looked like. Uh, Kujin, do you remember when he came on the show? Yes. Didn't he say he had sold it? Sold it? Sold what? He had that he had sold her the model. He's suing her for the model now. I don't remember him saying that he sold her anything. I remember you, him right, saying that it was remember? a collaboration project. Like the, I assumed that they were all equal. I business thought the tech. All right, the tech. I felt like the technology was, but I thought the model he had sold. But you're saying it was... It's I'm, all I'm saying what I think. I mean, I can't say that it's accurate. It's been so long. I mean, I have the yeah, thing well. here, but... You know, that's a... Uh... Shit. There you go. It's a shit. It's a, it's a one hour and 40 minute interview. Wow, mm -hmm. it could be, but I, so we I feel like to... this information would get knocked out pretty quick in it. But go ahead. That Keep looks weebtastic right there. Yes, yeah, so we spoke to him for about an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> but I don't remember whether he said that he sold her the thing or not. But I'm I'm sure that's in here somewhere. So I guess we'll have to. Uh, maybe I can listen to it later while I'm doing other things after the show. But unless okay. we all want to sit here for the next hour and forty minutes and listen to this interview. Well, uh, if he could say it, if he ends up saying it. It is a very big deal. It could be a very big deal, yeah. I mean... It's, it's kind of important. And, and if he did that, everyone is of the idea that he is kind of haranguing this girl. I don't... Did you read this? I'm reading it right now. Okay. I had read it a minute ago. I'll let you get an opinion on it. But. And, uh... There is... Okay, so he charged her um, for an entire body design and shit like that. And she paid it uh, to make sure that they were in agreement in regards to her ownership uh, for the intellectual property rights. She messaged him about it beforehand. And he agreed that... Uh, she would own all of the intellectual property, not him. That message is also included below. Okay, so... Okay. So this is him saying that she owns the uh, intellectual property rights. Yeah, it's nice to have something to prove if we end up talking to someone to say, yeah, I helped, but in the end, this is yours. He said. Well, this is what he said to her. Right, that's what I'm saying. He and, said. Uh, that seems pretty open and closed. Mm hmm here is a, a price that was paid for the design. Whenever I search Digitrev X, the only thing I see is that he got really jealous and shit that uh, she became popular. Like when I Google search him, 
That's well, why he's not Isn't that honestly. the idea? Yeah, but the thing is, though, like, I mean, he probably had no idea how big this was going to be. Uh, she's probably making immense amounts of money. And she is. At the I can confirm that. Yeah. And at the start, you know, he probably made a deal with her, which at the time it favored him. But now, in look in hindsight, looking at what Melody has been able to earn, uh, he's getting he got chump change. Yeah, because she doesn't just do the porn thing; she does gaming streams and Twitch and all that shit. Yeah, but it started with the porn thing. Uh, look, right. he, here's the thing, though: he was selling her a particular product, and he wanted to. I guess he didn't want to take too much of a risk in the business side of it. That's why he set things up the way that they, he did. Uh, and so it seems like she was taking most of the risk. That's why she's owning the rights or whatever. And maybe yeah. they had some sort of dispute or they had some sort of falling out or whatever. Maybe he wanted more money. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but if they have some sort of disagreement, it clearly states right here that she owns the property rights. There ain't gonna be much you can do about that one. Unless he's able to somehow open her up for negotiation. Now, when we spoke to him, um, a lot of the... The hardware that was being used to create Project Melody, he owned that. Um, some of the software he was using was licensed. Some of it was uh, his own. So what would go into making Project Melody operate? Those were things on his side. But it seems like she commissioned this particular look. This Animu character. Project Melody yeah. and everything that goes with the Project Melody label. Would that include the license? Like, as far as, like, the... Well, that's what it says right here. Okay. See, and I just... What I don't get about this is that this should be, like, a springboard for him. You know, he can sit there and say, okay, I didn't make a shit ton of money off of this like I, I could have. But, hey, guess what? Here's this really popular streamer. She's got, you know, she's free advertising for me. She's, in, you know, other people can come to me now and I can make a lot more money making more characters. I think in the beginning, you know, he looks at it. He's got a great deal yeah. by getting five grand off of these people because he thinks they'll come and go and they're spending all this money. He's doing good. At the end of it, he looks at yeah, them. She, she ends up making way more than he did, and he would have been better off to make it for free off of her and just say, just give me 10% of whatever you make. Yeah, there you go. And he didn't do that. And he regrets like a motherfucker now. Okay, what, <laughs> what she's saying here in this twit longer yeah. is that um, this a particular music group made her a proposal which she didn't want to do. He wanted her to do it. Mm. Um, said that he, uh, because of the work that he'd already done and stuff, that she was expected to work with these people, that she decided not to. And she said that, I told him he should uh, have let me know that, since I would have insisted I either pay him or not have him do the work at all. Even though I would never agree to a contract when I don't have no idea what the terms are, I did offer to pay him for all the work that he felt he wasn't compensated for. Uh, yada yada yada. And then there was the falling out. She sounds pretty reasonable, in my opinion. They had a falling out. Well, everybody from... sounds reasonable from their end. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, what's... What I was talking about before, while uh, I think Tonka was going to get a drink is I think part of the kerfuffle here, if I may use a word, is one of the Imgurs you go to, uh, which one is it? I think it's the one, the solo one, where she says, here are some examples, where there's just a bunch of back and forth where she's like, look, dude, you did X for me. Can I pay you? 
And he goes, no, 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 don't worry about it. Or, you know, can you at least send me an invoice? No, 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 we'll see. Don't worry about it. You know, it's this is just so much little random stuff. So things were vague and undefined. And he wouldn't accept payment, even though she offered to. So this could also come across as just sour grapes, where it's like, look, man, I did all this little stuff for you, da da da, da and I wasn't compensated. Where she could turn around and go, I tried, fuck you. Yeah, she she's offering to pay him. Um, she's offering to compensate him for X, Y, and Z, and he's refusing it. And now, later on, after they've had a falling out and they've stopped working together... Um, she, he is saying, oh, you, Project Melody needs to walk with this, uh, new thing that I'm launching because you owe me. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, after the way things ended, I don't feel comfortable working with you. And yeah, he thought he was setting up a I scratch your back, you scratch my back thing, but she didn't want that and offered to pay you to avoid that and you refused. So, at least yeah, based on him. this, you're fucked. Yeah, that's on him. He, he fucked himself. I would just took the money and any possible deals that came out away from a shout-out. Okay, and then it seems she agreed to work with him on the condition that one, he leave her alone, and two, sign a document making wow. it clear that she owns everything he kept claiming that she didn't. Mm. Uh, a few days after the offer, he responded to telling her that it was a terrible offer for him to sign a document saying the extra things he made me were... he made her were his, despite them being gifts. Uh, in exchange for interacting with his new project, he then demanded $45,000 along with 25% of merchandise sales. Even, oh, even though at this point they had shit. stopped using all the assets he had made. Even though she owned them and uh, they were oh. reminders of the leverage he thought he had over her. Mm. So, it seems to me, like, he tried to fuck her. Financial. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, that, that wouldn't... But, uh, yeah, he, he fucked himself. He's, he's up a creek without a paddle, man. Yeah, December 5th, 2019, he agreed that she owns the AP. He's just the character designer modeler. You know, so... so basically, he's, she's no longer even using the same assets that was created initially anymore. No, she's still using some, but the ones that were gifts, the ones that she tried to compensate him for, but he said, don't worry about it, she says that she's not using those anymore. Oh, well, that makes sense. This is a bad deal. Doom Marine gave five percent. I called it from the start. He made five grand and thought he did well. She's making literal millions, and he's now upset about her fame. It does seem that way. That very disgruntled, very disgruntled. Slacker, the internet HR department gave to and said, so this is seller's remorse and the short of it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's certainly what it looks like. Yeah, he took the upfront deal as opposed to the long-term slow deal. Well, yeah, because the upfront deal uh, had less risk. If if if, right. if this thing didn't, if this thing had bombed, then um, he would have walked away in a comfortable position, and she would have been the one that got fucked. But she was the one taking all the risk. She put up the capital. To, she purchased the assets. Uh, they didn't have some sort of agreement where he would own X amount of stake. Uh, she, he sold them to her, which makes them right. hers. A one-to-one -one transaction. Yes. Yeah. And you can't claim royalties after that unless it's specifically stated in a particular contract. 
that okay yes I'm going to charge you this for the commission and I'm going to take 25% of blah 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 it's real fucking yeah. it's yeah, a damn shame so that is that's messed up but he did it to himself he didn't want to take the risk he didn't want to take equal share of the risk with her. No, and he didn't. Now he's... I mean, she could have paid him five grand for uh, a lemon. And that mm -hmm. was the risk that she yeah. took. And the risk that he took was, uh, you know, if this thing blew up, she was going to be... She was going to be the one wearing the pants. She was going to own the property rights. And that's where the money is when things go big. And again, this is all stuff that she's presented. So we'll see if he retorts to this with anything. But this seems pretty straightforward, at least so far. Yeah. I don't uh, see how he could have a claim here. Uh, not even trying to be biased on this one, but you, you look at it, it does seem very straightforward. I, I don't see a lot of wiggle room for him. And I imagine no. that we discussed this with him during the interview. I imagine that this would have been spoken about to some extent, who owns what, and what he's actually doing. So it's going to be there too. I definitely wanted to check it out and see for myself, too. Because I, I, I didn't know anything about this, man. But it, it looks pretty straightforward, like Tonka and everybody's been saying, so... I don't yeah. see any... It doesn't seem like there's uh, anything to question. What what, yeah, what, what possibilities... Like, let's, just, let's just say, just for example, if he actually does, like, clap back, like, what sort of proof could he potentially... If right before that last conversation, she had actually said, well, let me, you know, I'll give you the rights or something like, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it, no. I, don't, I, mean, I couldn't tell you. The only thing, the the only thing, thing that could contest that. this is if we see something that says that he owns some sort of property rights and her signature is on it or she's agreeing to it. Because uh, right now we've seen of... the opposite. So you need the opposite of that to have any grounds to contest it. Yeah, there would have to be some sort of contract signed by her that contradicts this stuff. Is all we're essentially... That's basically it. Mm. I mean, if he's got it, I mean, if he worked it into the small print and then fucked her, or whatever, or, you know, mm. may maybe in a civil suit, if he's got it, he's got it, but, yeah. Look, maybe mm, in a civil suit, it might be decided that uh, he's due some sort of compensation for the things that he wasn't paid for, even though he refused payment for them. Maybe. When it was clearly offered, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was clearly, clearly offered. offered. I mean, then maybe he could get some sort of lump sum payment out of it. He's never going to own right. property rights. Yeah. Yeah, no, he would basically get, you know, services rendered, payment time, and that would be it. Yeah, that was a big that was an interesting interesting choice Man. of uh, negotiation. Well, he's going in. Well that's all yeah. You know. The money's in there's a lot of money in merchandise. I imagine there are a lot of people out there paying, you know, a shitload of money. To have Project Melody on a t-shirt, or a hat, or a mug, or a dildo, or fucking whatever. <laughs> uh, Nico says Mel has been quiet about this for months and just spoke about it today. She's been hoping this goes away, and it just hasn't. Well, and I so, imagine it's it's definitely a big deal now since he attempted to yeet her off Twitch. Well, she doesn't have a choice not to talk about it today. Because, right. you know, she was banned from Twitch under these DMCA claims. So now you have to talk about it. Again, we'll wait to see what the hell he's got, but this seems... I, I can't this think seems airtight. Much he could have. Yeah. This seems airtight to me, and I'm no lawyer. 
here's here's another question I'm kind of curious about because after just finding out about the DMCA thing, right? Do you think that she could turn around and try to sue him for damage loss of damages? Because like that's her business. Poten uh, potentially, maybe. yes. Potentially. Uh, yeah, revenue loss from not there. streaming due to the claim, yeah. I mean, right now, um, she's losing income every day that she's not yeah. able to stream. And it's right. because yeah. of his suit, and if that turns out to be baseless, then I could see him being open to some sort of uh, compensation for, uh, you know. Well, someone asked, if, can't she counter any of it? I Does Twitch have... A way to counter shit. They just started with this DMCA shit, and it I became a big problem. I doubt they have any sort of system in place yet. Yeah, just like just you'd have game. to hit, just hit up Twitch. Right, look, fam. Mm. And then there's the angle that uh, he's probably not considering either. Is you know when other people are looking to maybe get work done, they're going to look at this whole shit show and they're going to be like, "Well, I'm not going to." He may have guy. just killed all yeah. of his business yep. over this. Uh, I sure I can't help wouldn't use him. Or I'm even if you do do business with him, you're itemizing every goddamn Everything. thing, exactly. so that there's absolutely no you know confusion or gray area in terms of what was paid for, what services were rendered. There's it's ironclad. There oh, will be no legality. He's absolutely done. Uh, at least this Digi Trev X is done. I mean, I imagine within the industry, people know who he is. And I remember when we were talking to him during the interview, he said, yeah, I have other things on the side, and I don't want this to be associated with the porn stuff, because I didn't want to lose any credibility, because i got these other things going on. He, he was doing other things as well. As well right. as the Project it's Melody stuff. Work, yeah. But I imagine people behind the scenes knew who he was. And so now now that this has come up... Uh, if Hold this on, goes we do have a reply. We do. Oh? Mm. Crank got it. Go to news. Alright, the plot thickens. Let's see. Oh, that thread? Mm -hmm. I'm reading it right now. Um. Okay, so he goes, uh, I do not support Melody anymore. That is why her quality has dropped over the months. And this guy goes, why is that? And he goes, she didn't agree to a service deal, which I worked for months to build up, and she never paid for. She didn't pay for the service deal, nor the work I did leading up to it, so I said bye. Uh, dude goes, what is a service deal? And... He goes, uh, a service deal is when you make a contract to provide work to support your project. The contract comes with terms, meaning how much is paid and what is offered for that. I guess this is what she was talking about when he said that uh, she was expected to work with this other thing that he was setting up. And she didn't want to but then agreed under the two conditions of leave me alone and sign a document making clear that I own everything. Yeah, but she offered that and he didn't accept it. So oh, that so was it never, never was accepted. No. Uh, it just seems to line up. It just seems to line up with her statement. I mean, accord yeah. according to her statement over here, um, she did offer to do the things under those... Under the conditions. those two conditions, and he told her no. Uh, it's more one ten seconds. Here it is. He responded, yeah, tell him it was a terrible offer. Sorry, go ahead. Here it is. So she offered him this deal, 
leave me alone, sign a document making it clear that she owns everything, even though she, she didn't feel it was necessary. Because he was contesting it now. And he responded telling her no. It's a terrible document for him to sign, saying that the extra things he made were hers despite them being, air quotes, gifts in exchange for interacting with the new project, and then he started making demands of 25% and 45k. That does not sound like how much his work would pay. Not a lot of people have that kind of entrance capital into whatever he's doing. Yeah, there have been a whole time, a bunch of times in my life where I'm like, yeah, I think I want 45k. And 25% of your merch. Thanks. Thank you, bye. Yeah, thank you, fuck you, bye. Okay, so she stopped responding to him, and she started ignoring him, and apparently then he started resorting to trying to de-platform, which started on Twitch. And that's what the DMCA claim is for. Yeah, he set himself up for failure. Because all she has to do is turn around and make a whole new character from somebody else and just, no, just straight the, up just that's not the, using them. Yeah, but you don't want to do that. Because th no, then well, you're creating a new product. And, now, this and person she... has millions of followers, dude. Like, it's mm -hmm. a big deal. Like, like within two days on Twitter, they had millions of followers. Uh, Project Melody mm -hmm. um, is... A brand now it's a recognizable brand and it's a massive stinking degenerate hit it like, oh. set records on porn sites it set records on everything oh. fucking it blew up chatterbait oh. it blew up porn sites it crashed twitch it was oh cool well then you know that's all she would have to do is just contest this shit in court that's you know whatever she has the well, money and i well, can only imagine like she what that fucking um that merchandise shop is making well again based on her language it sounds like she just wants this to be done she has no yeah. interest in counter suing or doing any legal jiggery well, no, she, she just wants them to fuck off yeah because she was making hand over fist doing what she was doing and he wanted some of that and now she's he's interfering with her business Mm -hmm. She was going great I mean, guns, and like she just wants to, to go back something. to what she was doing. Right, she's gonna have to do something because the thing is, is that this, well, she doesn't have dude a choice now. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, if anything, I, what's gonna happen now? No, I was just saying, like, uh, she's like, it just open it up, like, to probably be a open and closed case for a civil suit. Uh, for for everything, and he's gonna get fucked. Well, that's just the question. All I'm getting at is, it's a question of how, to what extent this ends up going. Is it just a simple conversation with Twitch with by her, and Twitch is like, okay, you're reinstated, we're done here, or are we gonna have to get lawyers? It might one be of the latter because one of them is going to have to show proof of um, yeah. ownership, right? Right now, it's being contested. Yeah. Because if, until it does, this could happen again. Yeah, her receipt seems to be these screenshots where she's asking him who owns it, and he says you. Yeah, but she also has the receipts for when she actually paid for it, though. Exactly. Right. All I'm saying is that that's her claim to ownership. Does he have something equivalent? If not, fuck off. Yeah, he needs to have something. Because otherwise, uh, he's making false DMCA claims now. Well, it very much seems like he has no case, unless he's got some sort of documents that we haven't seen so far. I was gonna say, yeah. Based on what Is I've seen today. Is there any way to fight a false DMCA claim on Twitch at all? You don't have to fight a false. Wait. On uh, I don't know. I don't know the way the Twitch system works, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah I was they just, just brought that shit in. So, uh, is there even a way to fight that if it happens again? 
even if she even if she's proven to to have all the proof in the world that it's hers what's stopping him from turning around and doing it again uh all right i'm on the dmca page of twitch and it looks like your standard you know please note that under 17 usc section 512f blah 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 if you fail to comply with all these requirements oh wait there's a designated copyright agent well i imagine that there would be because i imagine false dmca claims happen all the time on youtube and twitch so they must have some yeah. sort of resolution department right you would think well sense. especially considering i googled twitch dmca claims and there's a bunch of articles at the top talking about how Twitch was getting a bunch of DMCA claims due to music, so they ended up just changing their policy of to stop the influx. But here, I don't know if this is helpful, Kuji, but I'll DM you the link. Again, it reads just like a standard disclaimer legal document. Just the designated copyright agent section caught my eye but it seems pretty self-explanatory again we're getting into legal weeds here okay i hate his i, I here's hate how what he this says able, about people but go here's how he was able to do this Notification of infringement. If you're a copyright owner or an agent thereof, and you believe that material content hosted on a website infringes on your copyrights, yada yada yada, here is what they ask you to file the copyright thing. Identify what you think is yours. Uh, identify the material that is apparently in being... Um, contested by you and where it is being shown and then provide a statement and then in the statement it says you have a good faith belief that use of the material is not authorized by the copyright owner and that the information that they're providing is accurate and a statement under penalty of perjury that you're authorized to act on behalf of the owner or blah 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 so the good faith thing this is basically, you can just say that it's yours. Mm. Like, you can, uh, yeah, they're basically asking, alright, you're saying this is yours, are you, are you promise? Yeah, you promise? Okay. Oh, <laughs> god damn. Really? Uh, you pinky swear it's yours? Alright, well. Cross your heart. This sounds that's, like that's Scout's, on, really scout's honor. Yeah, Scout's Honor. That's all that's required to submit the DMCA. That's pretty bad. And, I mean, then it needs to be contested. So, yeah. I still, I still feel like my question still has some merit because what's stopping him even after the counter, right? What's With the current Twitch system, nothing can again? stop him if he if he feels like doing it. And yeah. that's what he did. Uh, it's, it's fucked up. The way things seem right now, he seems very salty that she doesn't want to work with him anymore, and she's making millions, and he isn't. And he was allegedly, allegedly, um, being rather rude and abusive and shit-talking her on social media and in DMs, and she just... Well, we did see the social media thing where he was talking about how her quality was bad or something, right? Yeah. But that was just one thing. Apparently, worse things have been said about her okay. personally and the project, yada, yada, yada. So, oh, he, he was shit canning it know. after she stopped doing what he wanted her to do.
Uh, Crint in the chat is asking, how do we know it's DMCA? How do we know it's him? Uh, in her twit longer, Crint, she provides a message from Twitch, specifically saying, Dear Project Melody, uh, alleged infringing content, copyright claim at contact email, digitrex at gmail.com. For all intents and purposes, I'm assuming that's him. Yeah. I think Nico added him with it in the... Yeah. Did anyone happen? Uh, Nico. He's the one who knows about all this shit. Wait, are you asking what I'm, what I'm looking at, Kuji? Don't worry, I found it. You found it? Okay. I think it's the ver one of the very first links. What is he saying on Twitter about it? He doesn't seem like he'd be quiet. Hey, he doesn't seem like the quiet type, does he? He came yeah, on and did an like interview with us about it, and I didn't even know who he was. So, I mean, he seems like someone who goes out and talks about it. Let's just look and see. Okay, so... Yeah, this is the notification that she got. Notification of claimed... Claimed infringement. Yada, 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 timestamp, blah, 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 blah. And the claimant... And it is 100% Digitrev. As a result of this notification, your account has been issued a copyright strike. If you believe it has been in a mistake, submit valid counter notification, blah 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 blah. So, yeah. He did it. She's gone, because he claimed her. His last post was two days ago. When was her post that outed him? Didn't that come out today? I think that's today. He hasn't said anything mm. since November 3rd on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter Project Melody, her ban and twit longer one hour ago. Yeah, so she spoke about this an hour ago. So we'll see, but not to beat a dead horse, this seems pretty open and shut. Yeah. Unless we're missing something major. Yeah, if he had something, something major, I think we'd be looking at it. You would think. Yeah, you I would think. Have, I would think you no, would no, it's been one hour. It's been one hour. I gotta stop myself. It's been an hour. I'm gonna give the guy a minute, but damn. I don't so know. His pinned tweet still does just have a picture of him as like Dr. Seuss, and it says his children are Project Melody and this other character i don't know who that is but uh what it says let me introduce you to my children thing one and thing two thing one prefers you or refers to you as uh, i don't fucking know how to read this but it's like a uh, project melody and some other uh, vtuber creation but uh it sounds like a freaking weird uh <laughs> this is a tweet from august 3rd though so that's not that long ago I think it was meant to be a funny tweet, but obviously he's not on good terms with Project Melody anymore, so it's funny yeah, that it's still not, a good tweet. It didn't age well. It's... Things went south since August 3rd. Things went uh, south since when? August third. So that's this pinned tweet from August third, and it's supposed to be a like a cheeky little, funny tweet, and it's like, huh. He's probably not going to have a very good Thanksgiving either. No, he's allowed to say fuck Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, he's allowed to say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, because he uh, has something he... to not be thankful for. Yeah, being a millionaire potentially. Yeah. That that would do it. That would, that would 
So, you know, that would get me to say fuck yeah. Thanksgiving. That'll sell the grapes a bit. Yep. Ow. Do you feel bad for him at all? I don't. Not one not, bit. No. Not I, really, no. Just, not with what he's doing for damn sure. Well, I mean, no. even even above and beyond any of this drama issue, like I said, I'm I, maybe it's just a, I got the wrong mentality or something. I just would say, man, you know, this person is super popular. Hey, I made I, I, I chose to go down the path of making 5000 up front. Uh, they're super popular now. Uh, let me use them as advertising. Say, hey, yeah, you know, that Project Melody? Yeah, the, I did that, you know? And then, for me, I'd be... But Project Melody was... People used to be happy when people they knew got... You know, they, they did good. Yeah. That used to be good a thing to be you. happy about. Yeah, good on you. We hate it when our friends become successful. No, oh, it is amazing. And it also explains some... Uh, some political discourse too. Well, yeah. it's not, it's not that he hated it when her friends became successful. He wanted her to do things that she didn't want to do. He wanted yeah. her to be involved in all of his other projects and yada 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 and she wasn't interested. And so in comes Big Matt. That's what it seems. He sounds like he's been harassing her for quite some time, too. Just going off of what we've seen. And it looks like he's not going to stop. It's a shame because, um, you know, I've heard him speak before and he seemed pretty chill. I've heard Project Melody. She seems pretty chill. Uh, that's, oh, uh, yeah. When I, when I heard her, she sounded real chill. Well, I haven't ever heard her fucking porn streams. I've only See heard what he did? her fucking gaming streams, so... <laughs> you you are actually more uh uh you have more experience with her porn than I do so Oh that's right cuz he did research air quotes. Yeah, I did. Ooh. He did. Akujin the research engine. There you go. But I uh, I and think I got a lot of, of shit for it, you know, and now <laughs> I it's People a shame are... that there's a rift there because they I, they both seem like uh that he seemed like a decent guy. She seemed. Well, Kuzin like thought this chick. was America. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought this was America. Isn't this America? Except on Halloween, or Thanksgiving, I... and Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. That's the see and Nico. Nico knows what's up. Akujin is the one who watches your porn. Me and Alex watch your game. Akujin oh is the my gen God. degenerate here. Oh, the scarlet people. letters oh. being passed around. Uh, you go. misspelled watched. After talking to to Digitrev, I did go over there and I had I had a look at like half an hour, or twenty minutes or so. Mm -hmm. The a shit, half an hour or twenty minutes or so. You know, yeah, twenty yeah. or thirty minutes. Like, and yeah. I gotta say, the stuff that he was doing, like the as far as the whole digital modeling shit, it was extremely impressive. Not my mm -hmm. cup of tea. Did not uh, jack off, but yeah, what they were doing, it it was an impressive endeavor. I like how he worded it. An impressive endeavor. So you you're you're rooting for him on this. No, it seems like he doesn't have a leg to stand on. It hey, seems like line. it seems like <laughs> <laughs> hey, it seems like he straight up sold her the rights, and you know she had complete ownership. And he seems to be mad. That, Until you know, today, I would have rooted for him on a lot of things because he seemed like a really cool guy. <laughs> but it's like I didn't know he was. Um, he never struck me as a cool guy. Man. He struck me as a businessman. And he's now a businessman who made uh, a regretful business decision and wants some of that, that sweet, sweet cheddar. He was like, okay, well, here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to charge this for the model, blah, blah, blah. And if Project Melody fails, then, you know, I've, I've been compensated, yada, yada, yada. And if Project Melody succeeds... I will use Project Melody and my connections to her to prop up these other things which I will then own. 
and it seems like he does own a lot of other things now and he wanted project melody to work with these other things she said no then he got mad then he started going all right fucking yo i own this i own that blah, 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 blah. and we tense up which sucks because i think this may mean like the end of project melody updates <laughs> I don't think he'll be updating that software anymore. Well, well uh, apparently as as he hasn't know, for a while. They, they've yeah, been she's talking been getting updates. She's been doing updates herself with uh, maybe from somebody else, but well, of course, with somebody else. Yeah. She's she's not a software designer. Yeah, obviously. But she started working with other people. Lots of people out there do this kind of thing, so. And I imagine a lot of the people out there that have this skill set would love to get aboard the Project Melody train. But not and, uh, with Digi. At least not based on this. tubing is uh, lucrative right now. It has been for a while. So. Then she, she on came Twitch in. one day after being partnered. She came in and did the porn, the porn thing, and it's like, oh man! And then he's, then he's not wanting to be a part of it, or well, he wanted to be a part of it, but he he didn't want to be a, he wanted to be a part of it, but he didn't want to be associated with it. And he straight up said that on the show when he was here. He didn't want to get like a reputation. Uh, he made out like he was risking his reputation and shit like that, and that was what he was putting up as collateral for the project. Well, fuck, man. Yeah, there's, if, um... If you, I that, don't see why you would risk your reputation to do what you're doing now. There's a person in the chat saying she doesn't even use his models anymore and has for a while. I saw on that, uh... uh I know that you guys were giving me shit the other day over the, the fucking Iron Mouse that I watched. Yeah, there was a... Yeah, so, okay, well, look, this is part of this what? fucking thing. Um... On the lewd cast, on the lewd cast, she was on there with the Iron Mouse, and uh, she looked like she had a completely different model than normal. Looked like a different one than the one that she has now. So maybe she is, maybe she has other models that aren't made by Digitrevet. I wouldn't be surprised if she's had people make her other models that don't have anything to do with him. Well, she's cemented herself to a brand to the point where she can now slightly evolve you say that I don't know uh... Seems like a bad situation, but maybe it'll get better soon. We'll have like a, uh, uh, we'll get a reply out of that guy in the next few days. He's going to say something. You would hope. Yeah, the ball's kind of in his court right now. I don't know. I might send him a message and say that he says something to us. Yeah, may as well. We can, uh. We'll do the thing. Somebody in between tonight and tomorrow can watch the thing and see if we can get a sound clip of that guy saying that he sold that. Because that would really change things. Just a little, maybe, a lot. Probably a lot. Feels like it would be a lot. That would be a lot. I'm thinking that would just pretty much, yeah. Seal the deal, so to speak. Yeah, it could, uh, well, it could be he's... not good. If he's on the stream uh, admitting that she owns the intellectual property rights, that is very... That, that's... That's another electoral district for her. <laughs> right there, <laughs> slam. Is Project Melody is at 200 and how many electoral votes you would say? <laughs> <laughs> like that that would that would take her to 270 she's it? close to 270 very very fucking close and the only reason why she's not at 270 is because uh some places are disputed mm. 
Digi wants a recount in Wisconsin. Oh. <laughs> but he put a lid on it, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Well, if he, uh, if we have that, we will know we have that, and it'll probably be up on Twitter before the show tomorrow. But either way, we can look through it between then and now, and by tomorrow we can end up telling people if we found it or if we didn't found it. Uh, it would be fun to be able to throw in some help at, you know, help fighting the good fight of porn. There you go. America. Weeb porn. Don't God make it dirty. Right. It's the principle, damn it's, it. Exactly. Don't get lost it's in the fucking, details. Don't yeah. get lost in the weeds. You, you, you've got me on the principle here. Don't fucking turn me against it. <laughs> don't make it <laughs> weird. <laughs> that. All right. Do you, I don't know. Did do we stand firmly on the side of porn? At yeah, the moment, I, I stand yes. quite firm. On the side. My of porn. desk is raised three or four inches at least. There we go. Three or four inches. In at salute. Least. Okay. Okay. Weeb people. Yes. Those. Of, oh, Yo. you're weeb people. I didn't even know. Debatable. Oh, you didn't know. I didn't. You know. You couldn't guess by the avatar. I say, hear me, weebs, as I am not one of thee. We will stand beside you on this fight for porn. We will... Something, something, brave... Go paint your faces, lightning bolts out of your asses. I'd... This is a weird fight, all right? Wow. All right, I had my fists in the air like they had at the Olympics, and now it's slowly going back We're fighting for anime dad. porn! Okay, somebody else has to make the speech. I don't I don't know. I I'll help. Okay, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> we could hey, we could go I, to Churchill. I, I stick with traffic, so yeah. yeah. If we if we need traffic, we'll get we, we can we get traffic? Can we do the traffic thing now? I mean, I mean wait, traffic? we could go we could go Winston Churchill. Can we you? will fight them over the intellectual property. We will fight <laughs> them on Twitch. We will fight them. On the hentai forums, Look, we will fight them in the streets. They can't take our goddamn waifus. They can't take the fucking anime girls. All right? They never you give up. You want to beat us, motherfucker? You got to fight them in the streets. Yeah, we will not con hand in the air. We'll not concede one pixel, nor one shader, not one pixel, nor one nipple of anime. You hear me, motherfucker? You fight for your fucking waifu. Arguably, you could have the tentacles. We're okay with that. You can have those. America! But no more America! I got an anime on my side! When the anime girl does it, it's not pornography, it's art. Mm. <laughs> it's now, hold on. Dragflame thinks that saying that will make people feel weird that we are supporting them. Well... Alex and Akujin had a video made where they were included and made to look like weirdos because they were on the side of porn. That's why I had to ask if they were willing to take up that battle again as people on the internet may find them to have something against people in the porn industry. Oh. That's I not how there's I remember more things. To but oh, right. you don't remember. That, you I don't just remember the video. That I don't think I watched that video. There was a video. Brittany, Brittany Vinti. Alex remembers the video. Yeah, Br Brittany Vinti. Fucking... That's why I didn't watch the video. Brittany Vinti. Yeah, she uh, clipped out uh, part of uh, the Kumite. And uh, she may or may not have called me and you pedophiles a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, <laughs> but a little bit. Of she was not. Look, that. it's Brittany Venti. I didn't take it to heart because Brittany Venti is a fucking troll. She was basically just calling us a bunch of pathetic, creepy motherfuckers, and she's like, "Look, porn is bad for you." I've heard it from Vintney before. Yeah, she she's is. done the whole trad, the trad thought troll thing. It you know, I'm with not like with, a, with her fucking titties out and her fucking hammerhead yeah. eyes looking opposite direction. <laughs> I'm not like other girls. Funny. 
I thought it was fucking funny. I ended up in a Britney Venti video. Personally, I took no offense. You made it because yeah, <laughs> that's how I looked. I was like, well, I'm in a Britney Venti video. Okay, this <laughs> fucking. I I took no offense to it, but uh, you were the example uh, that she used for people who like weebs. Uh, yeah, anime and you know all that good shit. But yeah, she were the degenerate for the she, video. She's like, I can't believe the 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 um. What she tried to say about pedophiles, she she was trying to say that, look, kids can watch this. Kids can watch this porn. And it's like, yeah, I mean, sure. Anybody can get on the internet and Any watch Any kid porn. can watch any kind of porn. Here's the That's thing. That's what she was trying to say about Project it Melody. Was, it, like, was, <laughs> it was aimed at adults. It was absolutely aimed at adults. Particularly, you know, a certain demographic of adults. And... I re clearly remember stating, look, this is not my cup of tea, but, you know, I don't, I don't want any part of it, but I don't necessarily have a problem with it. But that is, uh, that is a typical Britney Venti thing. She likes to be a troll and be a bitch. That is who she is. I took, I took zero offense from it. I laughed when I found out I was in a fucking Britney Venti video. Because she is... She is who she is. I don't even like anime. <laughs> I don't even like anime as I... As I, I, I hug either. my... As I hug my Goku pillow. I don't have one of those. Sure you don't. No, sure I, have, I have a blow-up pillow of a woman just like every other straight man. It's Vegeta, isn't it? Oh, God. It? What? It's, it's Vegeta, isn't it? You got a Vegeta pillow. What? No, it's Angelina Jolie. What, do you think I'm a weirdo? Yes. <laughs> I, I believe that you wrote that uh, DBZ fanfiction that everybody says you wrote. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing barely write fucking messages coherently? They all they all come in with K. There you go. Like, was there a lot of K in it? I don't know. I've never read it. I don't. I don't know. It was. <laughs> I know it was some, said that he wrote it, but yeah, it was I, some I, fucked I, up shit. Uh, and and then fucking Zoom rewrote it to include people from over here and shit. Wait, wait. Is there legitimately a DBZ fanfiction? I want to narrate this. Yes. Someone oh. who admitted to be being a pedophile made a DBZ fanfiction. Oh, fuck. Well, no, never mind. No, no. The thing originally existed. Yeah, right? it existed. And then before. Zoom took that and rewrote it to include people from around here. So yeah. there are two versions. One that Zoom touched oh, one and one... One is written by someone who's a pedophile. Yeah. Can we get the clean one? <laughs> I don't think either one of them is clean. Oh. But one of them has nothing, wasn't written by Zoom. So okay, I'll take that one. I, I'm sure somebody could give you a link. Maybe head over to Davis' <laughs> server. But it's not going to be me. <laughs> I don't have it. You're <laughs> right. I was just implying that you wrote gay DBZ fanfiction. Oh, it's gay? Oh, even better. I'm assuming. That, that's the real cringy shit. <laughs> Oh my. See, I feel oh like my. Alex made it weird. They did. We were expecting anything weird. else. How else would it be embarrassing? How I mean Well we I could mean, we could we could all be we could all be sitting on an R V and, and you know with a camera on us and mm. yeah. I'm not leaving because of the chat. What do you mean embarrassing? I'm because of me. Give him room. What do you think I meant? Well, you said, how else could this be more embarrassing? I mean, I'm not embarrassed, because I didn't write it. I know, but I'm saying, you know, if you were caught writing... I guess I guess ca caught writing fanfiction would be embarrassing in general, but I guess I was thinking that if it was, like, gay fanfiction, it would be more embarrassing. Alex, it's anime. 
I know. But for not anime people. <laughs> I don't think you get what anime is. <laughs> like, I guess the idea of like Dragon Ball Z characters since they're like all big sweaty men, the idea that it, it if it was gay it would be infinitely more embarrassing to be caught writing that. So yeah, I, I grew up watching DBZ and I always wanted Goku to screw Vegeta. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I think would be more the Genesis. to cut writing. That's what I'm saying. Alex, I feel like you went down a road. I, I just, yeah, this is... We interrupt this road to bring you <laughs> the traffic. Oh, dear. We should do that. Because Alex has gone down a road. Down and a, I don't know if he knows how to get place. back. Yeah, I don't no, know I, if he knows I, his way home. Come on, I don't Les, think he helicopter us out of here. are coming back. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You'll need patience and a bit of luck if you're traveling eastbound on I-70. Three separate accidents have traffic backed up from downtown to the edge of the suburbs, adding 40 minutes to your drive. The Metro Police are reporting that emergency crews are on the scene at the accident just before the York Street exit ramp. Fire personnel are using the jaws of life in an attempt to extract a partially used can of bear mace from an adult male's rectal cavity. An associate of the victim <laughs> captured the incident on camera, and police are hoping that the footage will indicate who is responsible for the insertion. A spokesperson stated the following. We would like for the individuals involved with shoving bear mace into Mr. Alaska's butthole to please step forward. It will save us time and allow us to get a hold of the mayor so that he can award the key of the city to these outstanding citizens. <laughs> Mr. Alaska, along with his traveling companion, Mr. Creepy Hands, has been on a multi-state crime spree. Authorities believe that these individuals have traveled to multiple locations to attack innocent victims before running for their lives. <laughs> Are you a desperate loser? Trying to validate your existence by streaming live to a gaggle of bored preteens? Well, true believers, make sure to turn on text-to-speech. That way the little bastards can send you filthy messages that play out in crowded areas in an attempt to get your ass kicked. Make sure to bring other losers with you so you can perform bitch-made moves, like pulling out a gun while screaming in octaves only obtained in an opera. This segment <laughs> is sponsored by Spare Me. Thinking that the online drama you create matters outside of a small group of viewers? Spare Me. Are you looking for internet friends to network with before throwing them under the bus? Spare me. Remember, folks, don't take yourself so seriously. Go outside. Stop sniffing your own farts long enough to smell the roses. Now, back to Tonky Time. See, this was reasonable. If you hadn't said now back to Tonky Time, I would have ended on that. That was great. Ah, see? <laughs> you fucked we'll it up. On our timing. See, we'll that's that's a good one. For Frisky Friday. You don't want to talk more Frisky. about big sweaty men? Oh, oh God! All right, do you end see on why that. nobody, Alex? You're a fucking. You ruined it. Fuck Thanksgiving. Soiled it. Yeah, fuck Soiled Thanksgiving. It. Alex it. ruined Thanksgiving. All right, all right, that's uh, it. Thanksgiving, uh, this show, and Thanksgiving canceled.